<clears throat> uh, some transfer always sells on high pop servers. It does, yeah, but to farm it, it takes a lot of effort. I offer service with a smile. Pop in any time. Spread the good word, eh? And I don't have time to. What to do, do you that. offer? Um, pretty much everything I do to make gold needs to be like minimal effort because I just don't have time, unfortunately. I'd love to, but I but I don't. I get my impressions of my man made you skins, who cares? Love that. Love that. Oh my god, would you like is there enough glow? Four glows in a row. Five glows in a row. It's like when the, the wine making quest was bugged and it was just everyone in the fucking pot just jumping constantly. <laughs> William Burton Tantra Threat Much Love. That Grizzly Hills, yes, thanks. Stop ad blocking on PC and that did fix it. Oh, good. Fantastic. I have what you seek. Anaria Shola. Open your heart to the light. Ah, potential customer. Have you any news? I have to throw rocks at them. That's right. I remember. Um, to be honest, lazy skill farming I do is callings on my alts every three days. 50k every three days from the junk in those calling treasures. Yeah. Yeah, the callings are a fantastic way to make gold. Um, the difference is that it takes me approximately 12 minutes to go through and do the crafting on all 24 of the tunes that I've been doing it on. Like, I log in, click a button, log out, log in, click a button, log out, log in, click a button, log out. And if I disable all my add-ons while I'm doing that, log in and log out. Like, the, the load screens are, like, 10, maybe 12, 15 seconds. Um, so it's hella quick. Whereas going through and doing callings on 24 tunes would take half the day. I can't do that. I, I don't have the time. I run a business. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. It's, uh, but... Everyone, everyone has their own little ways of doing things that works for them, and and that's really important. Like callings are fantastic when I have like if I've got spare time. Ha! <laughs> I I never have spare time, but if I do, sure, I might go do a calling or two, but very rarely. I get enough gold from crafting the inscription stuff and flipping cards, and uh, I don't need to. Like I'm, it's not like I need gold at the moment. I'm pretty content with what I've got, thankfully. Great to stop course of quest. Guys, you really love fate. What are we doing? Leveling! You're right, indeed. Leveling. I've got 50 tunes that I'm leveling, getting them all up to level 50, and I've done 36 of them so far. <sighs> Close. Boogie down! What's the best way to farm a lot of gold besides key carries? There are umpteen million ways depending on what part of the game you like this. Um, I'd honestly recommend jumping on YouTube and looking for gold making videos or even finding specific gold making streamers on here on Twitch um, because there are just so many different ways and it really depends on what you find easy and what you find quick. Because, um, like, you know, something someone might find something super super quick and easy for them but you have trouble wrapping your head around it and vice versa so yeah um it is you garrison level three on each tune 
Uh, it's best to have it, yeah, because it means you can up, uh, upgrade your buildings to level three and stuff. Like if they don't, if you don't have them at level three, then uh, if you don't have the garrison at level three, you can't get the buildings to level three, so you can't put as many work orders in and stuff. So I reset my garrisons once a week, rather than like twice a week because I can't fit the. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, like it's up to you how far you want to go into it. Um, but if you type in exclamation garrisons then you'll get Drizzling Rose's mirror board. Uh, it's like a big ass fucking flow chart that she's done on how to set up your garrisons and how to make gold with it and stuff like that. Um, it is very big and very scary looking, um, but it's because she gives you literally all the information you could possibly need. Like you, you read through it properly and you're not gonna have any questions. Everything is in there, but so therefore it, it's really like, it's really big and scary. Um, rather than just say, do this, do this, do this, do this. It explains why you want to do that, how the best way to do that is, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, highly recommend that. That's what I did to set up all my garrisons. 37! Thirty-seven out of fifty. Fifties. And that's my fifth today. Oh, all right, Krimi, take me home. Skinner and Enchanter at the moment, fantastic. Gold is basically given to you in retail. Yeah. Yeah, but you still have to actually put in the effort and you need to know where they give it to you and to go do that stuff. Mm. It might be Garrison Singular. <laughs> Maybe. Mm, I just don't want to get on a bad token on that. I'm merely a male just from doing daily covenant quests. And there it is. Kicking some other. Yeah, look, we're going alright. Got some new 50. Thank y'all. Many thanks. So that's Anya. We're at 98.15. 98.15% 98 complete for my whole group of 50 50s, which is what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> Percent completion, woo! Um, they need to do a gold cut like they do level cuts, IMO. What do you think? It's inflation. It's inflation. Um, I honestly don't think it's th th that it's that bad because having the inflation allows, like, think about when you go back and do a Burning Crusade raid, right? If you go back and do a BC raid, you fucking face, you face roll the whole place. Like, one shot everything, run through doing Arcane Explosion, I made a mage, and just boom, 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 everything's dead, collect all the loot, GTFO. With gold inflating the way that it does, it means that purchasing stuff from vendors back in BC is just as easy. Because you do one calling and you can buy like seven vendors out of their entire stock. Of all the, the mounts that you can buy and all that kind of shit, it's just done. It's easy because it's old content. And that's the way it should be. Old content should be easy to do on a max level character. Um, so I don't honestly don't think that the, the gold inflation is that big a problem. Um, you're always going to have a handful of people who push hard, like those like gold makers who do that and that's the way that they play the game because that's what they find to be fun. And they have multitudes of characters all sitting at 10 million gold, but your average player absolutely doesn't. Absolutely doesn't. There are so many players out there who don't do callings every day, who literally sit on about 5k. They earn a little bit and they spend it on repairs. They earn a little bit and they spend it on potions from the auction house. They earn a little bit and they spend it on enchants for their new gear. And they sit like five to 10K permanently. Um, so I, I don't think that gold inflation is that big of a problem. Not yet, at least. I, I don't see it becoming a problem in the future. I, I think it's, it has its place. Um, right, okay, so on to the next one. Another one! You get through them all, surely. Look, maybe, maybe. I've, I've got fewer than six hours to go now. Like, less than six hours to go. So, look, we'll, uh, we'll see. And this one's, like, bang on 49 as well. Oh, excuse me. True Botanica has ha had has many bots farming it for raw gold. Uh, I haven't been in here since the big news. <laughs> there you go. Now you know, best text commander team ever. Uh, many people will never even reach to 100k. No, because as they earn it, they spend it. Uh, and you'll often find that people are very much like that IRL as well. We earn money and we spend it. There's money in our bank account and so we spend it. Um, and that's, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that until you start living beyond your means. 
but like it just yeah it is what it is uh and blizz provides gold sinks for people with lots of golds exactly that's how they manage though like if they if they gold squished it what you'd end up with is a whole fuck ton of people who are sitting on 10 million gold across seven or eight alts like so i'm talking you know 70 to 80 million gold on their accounts and those people who are talking about who sit around five to 10k gold each and all of a sudden the people who are sitting on five to five to ten k have no way to get gold because you've reduced all the gold that, that comes from quests and stuff like that they're, so they're sitting on that five to ten and then that five to ten starts getting eaten away and then they've got like four k and then two k and now they're sitting on 500 gold and they can't earn more because there's not very much gold freely available to them via questing or callings or whatever it happens to be at that point. But you've got these people with 70 to 80 million gold who can literally buy out the entirety of the fucking auction house on one server, set their prices, and completely and utterly control the entire economy for that connected server group. And no one can get anywhere close to them because they can they control the market for player trade and no one can earn enough through through other means to get anywhere close to challenging them. So I don't think a gold squish would actually work. Unless they wiped everyone's accounts of gold, and good lord, people would be unhappy with that. But yeah, that's what gold sinks are for. That's what the Brutusaur was for. Shit like that. Encourage people to drop the cash. Uh, right, so this one is Inspires. So we're gonna hearth to Southport. But yeah, she's at, uh, what's that? 4.79% of the way into 49. <clears throat> oh, I wish I had a gold sink for this X pack. Me too. I feel like they're going to bring one in in the next batch. They're like, there's got to be. It just it feels like it. Cut the gold people have too? Absolutely not. Like, people were outraged when they squished the levels. People were outraged when they squished the, uh, the, the item levels because they felt like their progress was being taken away from them. But they didn't lose any power from doing that. Can you imagine if they literally get into your account and took away 60% of your gold? That is absolutely taking away power. And that is a bullshit move. They, like, there would be a goddamn uprising if they tried doing that. It just, no. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, I disagree with that. Um, I don't think that that's a thing that should happen. Uh, is this gold, gold you're earning game? Yep. It is, yeah. It's the in-game currency. If they wipe people's gold from their accounts, there would be a mutiny. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I'd be mad I spent a lot of time farming gold. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, yeah, I know you spend a lot of time leveling your characters. <laughs> and a lot of time gearing them up and all that kind of stuff. But you know that the next expansion or even the next patch there's going to be a new height of of power or of level for you to attain gold it doesn't work like that currency has never worked like that taking currency away from people for no reason and and squishing the economy is not a good reason it just no it, it would it would just there would be no good feeling from it everyone would just feel fucking terrible it would feel bad. Why would they be mad if the gold is cut, but so does the cost of everything? N no. That's not how it works at all. I don't care if a bubble tea is all of a sudden half price. I'm still gonna be fucking angry if you give me a 50% pay cut and take half my savings. I'm talking IRL. No, absolutely not. And before you say, oh yeah, but that's IRL, this is in-game, it's the same fucking thing. It's currency that you have earned through work, hard work, or exchange, or whatever it happens to be, and you're suggesting just taking away people's cash. That's not how humans work. That's not how, like, emotion and, and stuff works. That's not, that's not how any of it works. 
Uh, levels push work so much like aggro ranges, NPC hit percentages, and legacy content stuff, except you don't get a new job and get upgraded and pay by 10-15% every other year. Don't you? You're doing something very wrong, because that's how the economy in the real world works. You absolutely, you look for something new, and if they, if you find something new that's going to pay you a 10-15% to 15 pay rise, and your current job won't match it because they don't value enough, then you jump ship. That is how the economy works now. That's, yeah, exactly. That's what pay rises in inflation is IRL. It may not happen as a, f as at a, it may not happen at quite as fast a rate, but it absolutely happens. And video games, everything is, it, like, everything goes faster. That's why we have things like instantaneous gratification with achievement swings and leveling up and, and all that kind of shit. Because we can't get that IRL, so we get it from video games. So everything is amplified. Everything happens faster, bigger, more. Not in Midwest America. You still have inflation. And if you don't have pay rises, you're with the wrong company. Because pay rises should at the very, like pay rises are because of inflation. The price of everything goes up by a couple of percent almost every year. You don't notice it so much, as long as your pay goes up at the same time. But if it doesn't, after two or three years, you all of a sudden realize that you can't put as much in savings as you used to be able to. And that's when you start looking for a new job. <laughs> Dopamine. Everyone knows that the US is broken when it comes to that. I'm not saying it's right. So why why do we have to squish in game gold then? If if what is happening with you and, and you guys, you know, have no space to grow, no no income earn like no income growth potential, then why should in-game reflect that if it's not right to have it IRL? No worries, ICC see you later. We'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Yes, good luck with the PC purchasing, absolutely. Because dealing with millions of gold is annoying versus dealing with a few thousand Lamau, then go play classic. I supply <laughs> then go play classic. There are, there are issues that would occur with a gold squish that didn't occur or that would not occur with a power squish or a level squish. Like people felt like they had their levels taken away from them and they felt like they had their power and item level taken away from them until they started playing. And then they realized, oh yeah, this doesn't feel like that big a deal. It's, it's fine. Whereas if you take currency away from them, it's, it, it's a different feeling. It doesn't feel good, and I don't think that it would garner any favor with Blizzard. Um, it just, there, and there would be issues that it would cause that, that other systems just don't have those issues because it's not a living, breathing economy. There isn't an item level economy. Everyone goes up. Everyone goes up. You get a new piece of gear, you put it on, it goes up. You do some quests, your level goes up. Gold fluctuates, it can increase dramatically, it can decrease dramatically, and, and anywhere in between. Gold is inc exceptionally different as a system than levels or item levels, or player power. It does not, like, it would not do the same thing if you tried to squish it. There are too many issues that would occur, uh, and you'd also piss off probably about 95% of the player base. Uh, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, but uh, Actables can't exactly afford to piss off any more of their player base. I'm kind of busy. Just watching Spoiler House streamer. Uh, Dishwashers in the Midwest make 15 an hour when three years ago they were paid 10. I know I live in the Midwest. There you go. But there is pay rises or potentially adjusting for inflation. I don't think inflation would have been quite that much, though. That's a, that's a big jump. So you should have to balance the whole economy. Oh, it'd be fucked. Everything would be totally fucked. 
Uh, plus gold varies widely per server too on the AH at least, yeah absolutely. So you know you'll have, occasionally you'll have a server where you have one of these these players who has the 70 to 80 million we were talking about, but then another server has no gold farmers and so there isn't, the, like, um, I remember when I was doing uh, Sanctum of Domination and we were doing Heroic Sylvanas with a, a guild and I'm on a different server to them so I'm not in the guild but they took me along for funsies um, and to like help and stuff. Um, and they were talking about runes and like, oh fuck, they're so expensive on the server, blah, 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 blah. Um, so they were getting them out of the guild bank and stuff, but I couldn't do that, obviously. So I, you know, brutoed up. And I'm like, oh, they're about this much on my server. Is that expensive? And they all just went, what? How the fuck are they so cheap? Like we just, like, if you, if there are no power users on your auction house, then prices across the board will be lower because there's not as much gold on the server to be spent. What player base? Us. You're playing. You just said you were playing classic. You are part of the player base. I am playing. I am part of the player base. They have an enormous player base. 85 to 90% of the players who play World of Warcraft do not post on Twitter, do not post on the forums, do not have a Twitch account, do not involve themselves in any way with the general community that is based on the internet of World of Warcraft players. A lot of people don't even bother, like they don't read patch notes because they don't know that they exist. They launch their game, they log in, they play, they close down the game for the night, they go to bed. Like they don't, they're not part of the game like we are. They make up the vast majority of the player base. And I betcha none of them will know what the fuck's going on with the lawsuit. Just because a whole shitload of streamers have fallen off the wagon, and just because people are bitching and complaining on social media, does not mean that the player base is gone. If the player base was gone, the game would have shut down. If they're not making money, why the fuck would they keep it live? <laughs> like, we are the player base. Uh, there is absolute- yeah, there's definitely an active player base. 100%. Uh, what is Microsoft now though? No, it's not. They have expressed intention to purchase. The purchase has not gone through. Activeliz is not Microsoft yet. And they won't be Microsoft. They will be a subsidiary- a subsidiary of Microsoft with their own company name and everything. They're not Microsoft. If the community accepted it, which they wouldn't, the amount of work needed to squish the economy would be phenomenal. Mm. Everyone would pretty- like, once they made the announcement, everyone would just stop doing anything. Because if they say, oh, again, we're gonna squish it by 60%, why the fuck would they bother making gold if they know that 60% of that gold that they make today is gonna be taken away in two months? What's the point? No point. It'd kill off an entire chunk of that. And Blizzard have, like, lately, they've finally realized that a large chunk of their player base, at least the player base who keeps playing between patches, is of the gold making, collecting, completionist variety. And if they lose them, they're fucked. If they lose them, they're fucked. Because <clears throat> they're the players who keep the servers up um, once content has been exhausted. Like once the big guilds and stuff have finished their, their raids, and once everyone's finished their achievements for, for Mythic Plus for the season and all that kind of stuff, they stop playing. They go play something else. They get bored. It's the completionists, it's the collectors, it's the gold makers. Keep going. So if they decided to do that, they'd push away all the gold makers. And they'd just stop playing between the patches. <clears throat> and I'm like, stopped it. Nope. This is absolutely true. 15 million down to less than 4 million isn't much of a player base left. Have you ever seen 4 million people in a group, bastard? It's a hell of a lot more people than I guarantee you've met in your life. Uh, and they're still making a hell of a profit. Because as I said, if they weren't, the servers wouldn't be up. It's like comparing a, a 60 or 70 year old man to his, his physical health to when he was literally an Olympic athlete in his early 20s. What is the point? 
There's, there's no comparison. It's a different game to what it was back then. There are enough people to keep it alive, there are enough people to pay the salaries of everyone working on it. It is therefore an active player base. For our stuff, watch a couple streamers, don't have anything to do with the socials, etc. Yeah, of course. Four million more than in my non-existent game has. But it was satire. Didn't, didn't come across as satire. Uh, not to mention people find ways to make the economy more expensive in time anyway, regardless if there is inflation in game. Sandstone Drake is the same price as it was in Cataclysm. There you go. Eight level 10 troops. Well done, dude. Well done. Finally less than 200 crystallized fire farm. Hey, Phoenix. Please remind me, what the fuck are you farming those for? <laughs> I do not remember. Countries that have fewer people than 4 million. Yeah. Congratulations to Zem, Little, and Zam on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. I'm on to the next one. Imagine his cover. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Well done. Can I? No. Ooh, flag bearer. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, I hate the writhing wire. I don't want to have to do it again. 35%. 349. I'll make all the mats for seven of them. Jesus Christ, why seven? Mmm. Four million paying 15 a month. I mean... Granted, not all of them will be paying anymore because of the, like, the WoW token and stuff like that. But I have a feeling, like, I don't know. I'd love to see some data on it. But, um, I have a feeling that a lot fewer people use the WoW token than we might expect. Because obviously, like, it's a great, you know, oh, it's a free, you know, you can play for free. But so much of the player base is, is super casual. Like, I'm talking logging on for a couple of hours a week. And the token is not cheap. The token is not cheap. Although you can get that gold pretty easily if you put some focus into it. Not if you're only playing for a couple of hours a week. Um, so, like... It's still a bit, pretty decent chunk of that player base that's actually paying kind of like cold hard cash for it. I would imagine, again, I don't have data on that. Uh, and I would love to see some. I think it'd be really interesting. I don't think they put it in their invest investors call, though. Because, as they've said a lot of times... Um, their active subs are no longer, like, by a long shot, their biggest moneymaker. Um, most of it is things like boosts, character transfers, cosmetics, that kind of shit. Um, which makes sense. That's, that's how most games are going these days. Uh, a lot of games are, you know, free to play uh, and then buy all these cosmetics. Like, look at League. They are wildly successful and vast majority of their cash just comes from cosmetic shit. <clears throat> So it makes sense that was leaned into that when they did. Super casual player, auction guild bank ran out, replenishing my stock ready for 9-2, and they farm stuff when it hits. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. I was like, are you making them for friends or something? Like, what the hell is going on? Um, there's people buying the tokens to put on the AH. Yeah, so every every token that is purchased needs to have cost money at some point at some place anyway. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> It does make me kind of giggle to think like how many people have bought a token in the past to get gold and then have eventually ended up using that gold to buy a token anyway. <laughs> like, oof. Although having seed money, like having seed gold to start making gold is, is really useful. So like you buy one token and then you eventually turn that gold into seven or eight tokens down the road kind of thing. Uh, it makes sense. But yeah, it's just kind of funny to, you know, the, the, that just purchasing that first one makes me giggle a little. 
Uh, for being fair, Blula actually went through the numbers and it's 4 million subs. That includes single logins, not alts. So if you don't count alts, then it's less than 2 million real people, not multiple accounts. Uh, where did that data come from? The, the 2 million real people thing. Uh, not multiple accounts. It's about 1 15th of the playbase they had. It's dying. It's not dying. Yes, they have had a reduction in sub numbers. It doesn't matter. What matters is their income. What matters is their income. Like, if they one day eventually shrink all of the ser like, connect every single server onto one server, and all that kind of shit, then yeah, maybe. But there are still two million people, if if we're taking your absolute, you know, estimate of, of two million real people. Like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Four million subs include single logins, not alts. So does, do you mean that's four million single logins, as in four million accounts? I don't understand where you're getting the two million real people from. Uh, yeah, many are taking a break from the content chat, absolutely. But I'd also say that that number of the subs isn't from now. It'll be from if, like, it'll be from the last investor call or something like that. But again, they stopped reporting their, their subs, like, in their investor calls and stuff like that, because that's not where they make their money from. And ignoring all that, do you actually give a flying fuck if the game is dying, if you're still enjoying it? Because I know I am, and I don't care. If someone else doesn't like the game, then that's totally okay, I understand that, and they're allowed to feel that way, and they can stop playing if they want to. 100% valid. I hope that they find a game that they prefer to play, and that they have an absolute fucking blast of a time playing whatever new game they decide to pick up. Because life is too short to not have fun. Like, fucking play something that brings you joy, good lord. But I'm having fun. And the fact that the game is dying has no bearing on that whatsoever for me. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried. Even if they only have two million people playing, that's a shitload more than a lot of other MMOs out there. I, I don't care. It has exactly zero bearing on me as a player. So like, why be concerned about it? Why be worried? If I was a shareholder, maybe I'd be concerned. But then I'd remember that most of their money comes from cosmetic purchases anyway, and that my shares are going up, and then I'd be fine again. It, it genuinely doesn't matter. At least it doesn't matter to me. If it matters to you, then quit the game. Like, genuinely. Honest to God. If you no longer enjoy playing World of Warcraft, or World of Warcraft Classic, or World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic, then cease playing them. Please, honestly, because I want people to have fun. Why suffer through something? Especially when it's a fucking video game, good lord. They're literally a form of entertainment. If it's not entertaining you, then don't play. But I don't understand why people obsess over sub numbers and all this kind of shit. Does it actually have a bearing on how much fun you have playing the game? Like, genuinely? Because why, why are you concerned? I don't get it. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at Fortnite making hand over foot, free to play, however, buy these cosmetics. Yeah, one of those people, if they're still making a profit, then it's not dead. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. WoW still has the most active player base that any MMOs currently have. Many are taking a break from the content drought. It's character counts. Why would character counts matter? Yes, I do. It's an MMO RPG, not a single player. Good. Have you been to a fucking capital city? Like, I don't understand your argument. It is an MMO. You go literally anywhere and there are other players there. Do you honest to god want launch day competition for every single spawn every day that you play the game? Because I can't think of anything worse to be perfectly honest. I have zero issues finding groups for content. No issue whatsoever finding groups for content and that's what matters. As long as you can do the shit, what's the problem? I mean there are there are definitely people out there who are look like they're looking for reasons to be upset with the game or they're, they're looking for a reason that they can point to like, I'm quitting WoW because it's dying or I'm quitting WoW because the sub numbers are going down or I'm like, but you don't need a reason. If you wanna quit, you, you can literally, your reason can be I'm quitting WoW because I want to. You don't have to give a reason. So I, I don't, like I genuinely don't get why any of this matters. If you're not enjoying the game, don't play it. I don't get it. 
<clears throat> so probably Final Fantasy, considering the high cost, almost 200k at the moment of the token, which adjusts its price, far less people are buying gold than some people would suggest. Yeah, yep, a lot less, a lot fewer. Uh, I only care if it means losing game, and we're miles away from that. Miles and miles away. Good news is, WoW is still going and still making content. WoW notoriously quiets down at the end of an expansion, which we're coming up to. Yep. Maybe that's for sure. Final Fantasy's peak is 95,000 concurrent players. That's nothing compared to WoW, honestly. It's not in the same zones. I'm happy with Classic at the moment. I just don't like how it's turned out. So, stop playing. Uh, a lot of players are quitting because they don't have friends to play with. Yep. But that's not entirely the community's fault. If someone isn't willing, like if you've got a group of say five friends and one person leaves because they got bored and another person re re leaves because their partner and their children need them. And then another person leaves because their work picks up and they need to commit more time to work and don't have enough time to game anymore. And then another person leaves because they move cross country or across to another country and have to change region on that. And you've got one person, the group of five left. They have two options. They can leave which is what you've said, like a lot of players are quitting because they don't have friends to play with. Or they can find a new guild, find new friends. There's a hell of a community here who would play with them and accept them and bring them in and take them to all the things, but they don't. Either because they don't know that that kind of community exists because they don't like seek it out or whatever. They're not someone who has social media or, or even uses the fucking this thing, you know? find a community or, or find a guild you know like it's it there are people waiting there to be found it's really like it's in game now you don't even have to go to the forums to find a guild it's all the tools for you are in game or because they don't want to because they're like oh look i'm not in i haven't been enjoying it for a while but i was sticking around for these people but because they're no longer here uh, i'll leave too which is you know being bored of the game is totally valid but the whole i don't have anyone to play with is like you find people, you found people here. If you are, if you are one of those people and you're lurking and you're in that boat, you found people here. But yeah, it's um, no. Look, if you're not having fun, then don't play. It's it's really like, I, I feel like we're just arguing this around in circles now, and it's um, <laughs> it doesn't matter if t sub numbers are going down. It genuinely doesn't. Because as long as there are enough people in the game for you to do the content that you want to do, then it doesn't have- that there's no issue. <clears throat> Sounds like they just want to get their argue on. Potentially. Uh, I'm also a conversation. We don't talk about this, how we discuss the issues. There's no issue to discuss, though, bastard. That's the problem. <laughs> I like yeah. Th there's there isn't an issue here. Sub numbers fluctuate. That fifteen million number was when WoW was basically the only game of its type on the fucking planet. There were a few others, sure. They were teeny tiny, and some of them weren't in English. WoW was the biggest game of its kind. It was really one of the first games of its fucking kind. One of the. Note I didn't say the. Don't argue with me on that. It was absolutely one of the game. One of the first games of its kind. Now the landscape is full of them, and so that same player base, people who played WoW, some people stayed with WoW because WoW still ticks all their boxes. Some of them went over to this game because it ticked a box that WoW didn't. And this, some people went over here because it ticked, they ticked another box that WoW didn't, that they had on their list of things that they want a game to do that no one else has that exact same list. Everyone has kind of settled into different games that they love. They may, it may not be the perfect game for them. There may be things that they would like for it to do that it doesn't. But that 15 million player base has shattered amongst how many MMOs that are on the market now? Of course the player base is going to be smaller. Of course there are a finite number of humans on the fucking planet. It's not an issue. It's not an issue. The fact that WoW is still holding itself up and still succeeding when it has 4 million down from 15 million shows you that it's a successful game because they can fucking scale. They know what they're doing as a business. It's not that big a deal. 
Uh, a lot of people say why they're quitting because they hope thing may, things may improve later. Oh, sure. Look, giving, giving, like there's a reason why when you leave something or when you unsubscribe or or when you pull yourself off a mailing list on, on your, in your goddamn emails. Fuck, how many of those have we done lately? I've unsubscribed from so many fucking mailing lists trying to clean up my emails. Um, but it says, you know, why have you left? Because that data is super fucking useful. It tell like I've got an area on my on my dashboard on Twitch now. It's completely depersonalized before anyone gets concerned. But if somebody has a sub that they actively did themselves, not a gift sub, but if they if they subbed to me and then they're unsubbing, if they're they're like, you know, canceling their subscription, Twitch asks them, and it's totally an optional question, but it asks you, you know, why are you why are you canceling your sub? If you answer that question. I get a, on my dashboard, I've got a little box that says this percentage of people unsubbed for financial reasons. And this percentage of people unsubbed because they can't watch your streams anymore because of their own schedules. Uh, and, and this many people unsub because blah, 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 blah. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it doesn't even give me actual numbers. It just gives me percentages. Like of the number of cancellations you had, X percent was because of financial reasons. Um, so like that data is exceptionally useful really really truly fucking useful when it's constructive and when it's through the appropriate channels posting it on twitter does nothing except like you know potentially looking for approval or whatever it happens to be depending on your friendship group or you know that kind of stuff posting it on twitter does nothing for blizzard um but when you when you actually do the cancellation in like with in your account thing and you do it in there 100 percent that data is so useful and i guarantee that they look at that every however often they do it maybe weekly probably monthly uh, <laughs> probably monthly um to see what's going on and and what why people are canceling their subs um and yeah apps i i highly recommend giving that feedback but do it appropriately uh, and, and through the correct channels, because otherwise it's useless information that can't be collated properly and all that kind of stuff. Um, finding friends in this economy. Look, it's possible. It's possible. Might not be easy, but it's possible. Um, quit playing WoW because I did no longer have the same amount of fun playing as before I messed up my main character. Totally fair. Not having fun is a valid... I mean, look, there is no invalid reason to stop playing a game. It's as simple as that. There is no invalid reason. Uh, some people want to empower and make it everyone else's problem, it feels like. Oh, absolutely. There, there's definitely those kind of people out there as well. For sure. But like, there is constructive criticism and then there's like, bitching and moaning. For sure. Uh, if you don't have fun, don't play, but also don't put down other people who are still enjoying themselves. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, I haven't played WoW in over a year and just now felt like picking it up again. So randomly clicked your channel while I'm eating. It's funny to hear people are still like WoW is dying. Yeah, so I've been told, like I started playing at the start of Burning Crusade. So I wasn't here in vanilla, right? But I have been told that people have been saying WoW is dying since they they announced the Burning Crusade launch. Apparently. I wasn't around when it happened. I wasn't part of the community back then. I wasn't even playing the game, but apparently that's around when people started saying that, that WoW was dying. And here we are 15-ish years later. Just a bit over 15 years later. Not dead yet. But hello, Jesse. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, so there's no MMO like WoW. Every MMO is so very different. Yeah, absolutely. Bought Star Trek Online and Rift when they first launched. WoW still drew me back. And that's totally fair. And then there would have been other people who bought those, got sucked in and went, oh my god, this is perfect. This is what I've been searching for all this time. And they haven't dropped it since. And that's beautiful. That's awesome. Afternoon, Jazz. Hello. Yeah, I agree. Those players would have had to leave because after so many years, they now have heavy work and family commitments as well. It's just not, oh, I'll play... I'll just play for 30 minutes. I want to try out the remotes. Absolutely, there are so many reasons to, to pop it down and try something else for a bit. Or not try something else because you're too fucking busy. Keep in mind, the 16 year olds who played vanilla are now what, 33? A lot can change in 17 years. Look at how much has changed in a year. <laughs> like fuck, multiply that by 17, good lord. Lives change. 
priorities change, all that kind of thing. Uh, my friend liked to cancel as well. I can't he really believe they upped the drop rate of mounts for him. Ah, that's beautiful, Ken. Maybe I should try that. We'll do it before Heartbreaker. We'll cancel and then resub. <laughs> Get me that fucking rocket. Ah, seems about right. Uh, people also have to realize that the playbase has grown up. Yes, exactly. A lot of the community were teens when WoW came out. A lot of playbase were around since the beginning. Yeah. And like, you know, you look at a 16 year old. No big deal if they skip school to, to play a raid with their mates. 33 year old? You gotta take annual leave. You gotta convince your partner that it's a good idea to take annual leave for a video game. Um, hopefully your partner plays with you, but that's, you know, that's a whole separate challenge. Uh, you may have children that you have to take care of and they are, you can't take annual leave from kids. You have to take care of them no matter what raid is launching and when. Like, life responsibilities fucking add up. And they add up so quickly and I hate them and make them go away. Like, <laughs> I hate it. But it is what it is. One day it'll drop for you. It's going to drop for me this year. I am certain of it. My 50-50s will not let me down. What is this one going to be? Is this 38? I have 13. Yeah, so this one will be a 38. Yeah, it was much easier to play WoW pre-kids, I can only imagine. I do not have children myself. When they were still immobile. Yeah, just put them in a bouncer and you're like, hello, yes! Sorry, yep, I, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm floor tanking, BRB, I'm gonna change the baby. Like, <laughs> obviously you need to be more, like, caring than that, but just, just still, you know. I think it all sucks sometimes, doesn't that? No, the feeling, oh yeah, absolutely. Not always though, sometimes it's absolutely amazing. There are so many things that I've achieved in as, adult, as an adult that I never would have been able to as, as like a, a teenager, or even like in my early 20s. Because I just, I didn't have the life experience. I didn't have the knowledge that I needed or the skills that I needed to, to do, to, to have the kind of success that I wanted to have. And now I'm here and I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. I like this, this is good. We can keep this. Um, if I'd had kids, my mom would have suffered big time. Thankfully, my fur babies are pretty self-sufficient. Indeed. Indeed. Sam, I need a lot of alone time. I don't think I can handle kids. Yeah, look. I, uh... Look. We'll see. <laughs> Kidding, right bounce is the right foot so I could rock them. Yas. <laughs> so, Goose, have you just dropped in to say this because you've been, like, called by someone who, who wants support? Or have you been lurking this whole time and have just decided to, like jump in with your message now yeah you are yeah as dupe said you're also very welcome to go and watch somebody else i i will not be offended i promise uh, my guild plan for when the kids went to bed our raid leader to do stuff on wow they make it work absolutely you can look if it's if it's a priority you can definitely make it work 100 percent uh not every family will be able to go because of course every family has different requirements and stuff like that but, uh, yeah. No, for sure. For sure. Mm. New timer here. Sup. Interesting it hasn't been flagged as first chat. Give me a second. No, you've been here before. You've been here before. Way back in 2018. And then in February of 2020. So it looks like you swing by, like, roughly once a year or so. Yep, you were talking about farming Eternal Palace and you asked me what my item level was. You just didn't follow. I guess I wasn't good enough. That's okay, I'm not offended. Um, sadly I know a few people, which is exactly like you just mimicked, even to a point where they will not even stop their raid to change baby and just do it raid is over. Yeah, that's um... Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Uh, making me look bad now? No, not at all. Not at all. Hey, I know I'm not for everyone. I know I'm not for everyone. And I'm okay with that. As Dita Von T says, you can be the sweetest, juiciest peach in the world. And some people just don't like peaches. That's okay. I can handle that. <laughs> yeah, um, chat log is, is a wonderful, amazing tool. It's absolutely brilliant. Super handy for little situations like this and giving everyone a giggle. 
Gotta fill in out. Oh, I know, right? I know. Uh, own nothing and be happy. Sure. Go right ahead and do that, Goose. Enjoy your life. I hope you have a wonderful one. I play streamers you play the game, I don't play anymore. Prevents me to make my comeback. Yeah, fair enough. Totally fair. Understandable. New generation of raid babies who all grew up with dirty tongue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, but like, the medical issues that that can cause. Like, good lord. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, apology. Thank you. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoy your time with us. Uh, whilst I don't actively play WoW now, I do laugh when a new MMO comes out and it's going to be a WoW killer. I don't think any new MMO will be a WoW killer. There are too many loyal players who spent far too many hours. Those games just won't have the content or things you can do in WoW. It's too big. Yeah, look, WoW definitely does have that as like a... There, there are, like, there's 17 years of content. Whether or not you enjoy all of that, all of those types of content is a separate question entirely. But, um, I just... Yeah, I think I've heard the term wow killer so many goddamn times. It's just lost all meaning, hey. Oh, excuse me. And I mean, right before all like the, the lawsuit and stuff were announced, I remember somebody in, in chat saying, uh, nothing except wow is ever gonna be a wow killer. Um, and well. <laughs> well, funny you should say. Um, but honestly, yeah, I, I genuinely do feel like it, like wow is not gonna be taken offline by a different game. Um, it's going to be a combination of a fuckload of factors that eventually will mean that it's no longer profitable and they'll shut down the servers. And that's fine. You know, everything in life has a lifespan. Nothing's forever. But um, I don't think it will be like a, a, a striking blow by another game or another developer that's going to just completely put WoW on the back foot and kill it forever. No. It's just, yeah. Eventually it'll it'll reach its lifespan and that'll be it. I remember listening to a true crime a true crime vid about parents who neglected their kid for an MMO. Yeah, I mean there are there are people out there who neglect themselves for MMOs. Like they'll they'll sit there for literally days without sleep, without food, without water, and they'll eventually just die. Um, which is horrific and horrible. Uh but you know, like don't don't do that. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and, and your dependents. Um, what indeed, only WoW can kill itself. Yep, I agree. I agree. Eventually it will die, um, but I don't think it will be because of another game. It'll just be because it's reached the end of its life. Maybe I'm in the safe zone. Uh, excited for Double Lego when next patch comes out. Yeah, so I was always going to be the biggest MMO out there. Nothing will beat it. Ah, I don't think always. I think, I definitely think that, you know different things will shuffle around on the leaderboard, especially as more and more and more games come out. Um, because WoW is like the one with the longest life kind of thing. Um, well, roughly, not not the longest life, but close to it. Um, so it's got the most long-term players who might be convinced to kind of go try something out for a little while. A lot of people will come back to WoW, yeah, because I mean, it happens every time. But over time, that player base does get whittled away slowly but surely. Um, that doesn't cause its death, obviously, as we've been discussing. Uh, but I don't think it'll always be on top and, and the biggest forever and blah 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 blah. It'll, it'll eventually get knocked a few pegs down and then a few more and then a couple more and then a few more and and then there'll be an investor's report where they say, yeah, we're, uh, we're shutting down the servers in six months. The birds will be a wow killer. Birds work for the government after all. What's the first WoW killer you heard of? Ooh. That is a, I don't remember. It has been, it has been 15 years that I've been playing. I don't remember what the first one was. I don't remember. Sorry, my, my brain is a colander on the best of days and this you're asking me to remember something from a decade and a half ago. So computer says no. Uh, <laughs> I can't unfortunately retrieve that, retrieve that information. Um, the inevitable heat death of the universe will shut down. Well, I mean, yes, also an option. Also an option. Um, Rift was the first work killer. I remember. Ooh, okay. What's the sleep? Did you ever play Rift? I did a teeny bit. Loved my turtle mount. RuneScape. Was RuneScape released after WoW? 
Wasn't that around before WoW? Like old school RuneScape? A few more years for it to die out. Oh, of course, of course. Saying everything is lifespan makes me want to farm all my mounts faster, harder. Now I'm nervous. Do it. Do it. Why do you think I've got 50 50s? Well, almost 50 50s. This will be number 38, I believe. Um, this is a few more years for a diet. Yes, absolutely. The way gaming creators are going at the moment, no new game breaking games come out. So I don't know. That yeah, look, I think we're in that era of like overhype. Like all these incredible marketing teams just push it and push it and push it. And everyone's like so fucking hyped and oh my God, this is gonna be fucking amazing. And then it comes out and it there's no way in fucking hell that it could ever possibly fulfill the hype that has been created. And so everyone's let down and it's all just shit. Like, it's so sad because some of these games have been phenomenal, but they haven't lived up to the hype because they were overhyped. And it just, it just sucks. And I, like, I feel so bad for the devs who pour their blood, sweat, and tears into these creations and have them shat on because their marketing team did too intense a job. I just, oh, but there's no other way to get noticed either. So it's like, fuck. Humans suck, man. <laughs> Humans suck. It's not hype enough, I'm not gonna pay attention to it. It's overhyped, the game's shit. Like, fuck, man. You can't win. You can't win. Ah, uh, RuneScape is in January 2001. No way! Holy shit! Um, before, wow, they took- Yeah, they took stuff from RuneScape and improved on it. Yeah. Eve Online was made 2003. I remember just before I started with WoW in 2005. Oh! Ah! Jared! Thank you so much for the donation. I hope you're having a good stream. A very good stream. Thank you so much. It is so generous of you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I doubt any games in the upcoming years won't take WoW's but Yeah, of course. Um, uh, first into MMOs was Lord of the Rings Online. Love that game. Aw. That's awesome. Welcome back, Dory. Just remember people complaining about WoW Sub and how RuneScape was free, and so people be like, so go play RuneScape. Yep. Yep. Uh, Draz, Loza, Little, Naughty, and Dunno, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Look, people always find something to complain about. Um, some people aren't content or happy unless they have something that they're not happy about or some kind of struggle that they're dealing with. What's up? Would you like a lemon? Yes. Thank. Thank you. That's Jess. Oh. A hunch will win the battle. What? Yeah, probably. That that happened. <laughs> People spend so much time paying too close attention to the bad reviews. The whole perspective no, 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 no. to buy said reviews before even playing the game. In the age of the internet, it's not terribly often people seem to dive into a game just to have fun. It's always search the reviews first. They want to know if it's going to be worth their money. Because that's a, like, and I mean, I, I get that. I get that. I have limited income. I can't just go splashing out on every new thing because I wouldn't be able to afford my fucking rent or food or other bills. You know, it's like, it's a problem. Um, so I need to, you know, choose very carefully where I, I spend my money. But it's also kind of, yeah. That's why we have return windows. Like, that's why we have refund periods and stuff. Thank you. you need your final tender. I'm getting there. Have you noticed how much I've been talking? I can't really talk when I have a mouthful of chicken tendy. That's fine. Need the chicken tendy. <laughs> Not my finger. <laughs> it's already got a wound in it. Oof. At least it's healing. It just still looks kind of gnarly. What about Lord of the Rings Online? Have a good night, you too, Jared, you too. Um, my first was The Sims Online, oh my God. That was a thing? I don't remember that at all. Oh my goodness. Just like, I'm gonna raid the fridge, enjoy. Fridge raids are wonderful. See, it just seems like people are quick to shoot on a game they don't even own or play, like X Wire players and such. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, 
like, like, as we said before, you know, leaving a game is totally fine. And there are, like, so many valid reasons to stop playing a game. And, like, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. But the moment that you start sort of, like shitting on or looking down on people who are still playing like i'm better than you because i extracted myself from that shithole no that's you you're immediately become an asshole like that's not okay let people have fun let people enjoy what they enjoy let people play fucking video games it's not that hard you're allowed to enjoy what you're enjoying and it's great. I'm glad you found something that you love. That's fantastic. It's important to have things in your life that you're happy about and that you enjoy doing. But it is also important that other people have things in their life that they're happy about and enjoy doing without being shit on for enjoying those things. Obviously, there are certain things that do not come under this category, like things that are illegal or things that hurt other people, stuff like that. But um, yeah, for the most part, playing a video game doesn't really that um never got into the sims i loved the sims i didn't even know the sims online was a thing or maybe i did and my brain is like blocked it out i don't think i ever played it uh, i just tried to raid the fridge discovered everything was gonna hurt oh meaty oh no should have picked up some like pre-made jelly cups or something on the way home oh honey if your finger wound feels better, Jas. It's definitely healing a lot better, and the, the lump that was there is definitely, like, starting to flatten and stuff, so I'm not as concerned. It just, it's very purple. It's absolutely a scar. absolutely fucking lutely a scar. I had a credit card at the time, and it was not an issue until sometime later when Banks said, Hey, we got an issue here! Oh, no! Just stopped by to load for a few minutes. Not a worry, Kay! Have a good stream. Will do. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a lovely day. Which currently contains a tub of butter and nothing else. I mean, that's nutritious, right? Fat's a macro. What was your favorite Sims game? Oof. The first one I played was one. Um, I, I'm not sure if you're asking about like expansion packs or whatever, but um, I think Sims got a little I think it was four got a little a little too micromanagey for me um and I think that's roughly when I stopped playing them because it was just a little too much micromanagement for me but um because I preferred to turn free will off and just make them yep um so I think it got a bit much but I can't remember exactly it's been it's been a while since I played we did play it on stream um for a while there we we're playing the sims on stream I think I was doing some kind of achievement challenge but it hath been a while. Mm, I also found the grass isn't greener when you pick up a new MMO. It may look different. It's really all the same. Quest farm, harvest, minecraft, and raid. Uh, it's all the same shit. Yeah. Enjoying games? Who told you games were for enjoying in this economy? If you aren't breaking your controller or keyboard, are you really My fucking keyboard is goddamn expensive. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> like, Greetings good lord. For the no. Have a good one. Adversity. And I have a feeling Logitech would be kind of pissed at having to send me a new one that quickly. <laughs> just, just, just saying. They'd probably say no. Um, <laughs> Sims 3 was my favourite. I think 3 was my favourite as well. I used to play a lot Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. Ah, I've still missed that game. I vaguely remember that. I love Sims 3 customization. You know, change colours to literally anything you want. Yeah. Just a huge chunk combo because my thing I froze. Oh no, I think Sims 3 was the best also though. Good. That's okay. There, there are always VODs if you do want to watch and like catch up again. Um, you can kind of, if you look underneath the, the, the video player, it's got like a timer as to where we are. And so you can jump back in the VOD and jump to there and then go back a little to catch up on what you missed. But I mean, it's also not groundbreaking or world changing. So it's probably just fine. <laughs> I miss that with Sims. That's why I have to play with mods and Sims 4, as without it, the game is bare. Oh dear. Yo. I think that was like the, this is one of the one of the issues. Like, I mean, WoW has kind of not done that in that, like, over time they've sort of adopted, if they see a lot of people using a particular add-on pack or, or a particular add-on, um, 
they may jump to implementing that as baseline in the game, so you no, no longer need an add-on for it, right? There, there are other games that I've played that as they've gone on, they've noticed how big and thriving the mod community is, and so they kinda, they strip the game back so that people can customize it the way they want with mods and, and kind of play it their own way, but that's not always a good thing because sometimes you need a more fleshed out base game in order for that because otherwise you're just asking the mods to essentially write like how how far does it go before a, a game company goes here you go here's an engine mods can be found here <laughs> like you know like there's a there's a there's a line how far back do you go which i mean of course would be fun for some people but like Wait, wait, hang on. Isn't that how Roblox works? I feel like that's how Roblox works. Vaguely. Which I've just realized is hilarious. <clears throat> Costs just about 1k to buy all the Sims 4 pack. Yeah, yup. And that's why you wait until they're on like 85% off sale and buy like three of them at a time. Sales are shit though, to be honest. Really? Oh. Like every time I've got, I think I've got Sims 4 and I bought it and it was literally like 90% off. Uh, and I bought it, it was a, a pack where you could buy the base game plus two expansions. Like you could pick whichever expansions you wanted. So it was base game plus two expansions and it ended up being like 85 to 90% off or something. And so I did that because I was like, oh, because I loved the Sims. But um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played it in a while because I have been, that's right, leveling my 50-50s. Anyways, give me some sport, there was no toddler life stage. Yeah, babies would age up into kids, yeah. And there was no young adult, there was no, like young adult was introduced in Sims 2 University. Um, like a, an, in, an expansion introduced an entire life stage. Uh, uh, and then we had elders after a while as well, there wasn't any elders. Like, I've been playing since, like, The Sims with the, like, the love pack with that fucking horrendous heart-shaped bed that vibrates. Yeah. <laughs> That's how long I've been playing The Fucking Sims for. I am old, you guys. I'm old. <sighs> Fuck. There is a stream on my birthday next month, by the way. There is a stream on my birthday. Um, it's just not... Um, gonna be like an extended, amazing, hyped up, what the fuck stream. It's just gonna be a regular stream and then we'll do the, the marathon for the anniversary. Cause having like two massive big celebrations in one month, I feel like is a bit of overkill. <clears throat> for real, I feel like everyone is waiting for Sims 5, hoping it'll be better than 4, but yeah, is just milking as much as they can and making a million lame ass $5 kits, yeah. Microtransactions! It's a thing. And it makes them millions. The Bethesda did the same thing with mods! Team Fortress started as a Quake mod. I loved me some original Team Fortress back in the day. Awesome. Time is money, friend. Uh, base game since was awful. They're missing so much that every base game before it already had. So they could add. It's like, um. Oh my god, there's a meme. There's a meme that was around, like, I'm talking six or seven years ago now. But it was like, um, you know, ten years ago, burger was game, and then, like, ketchup was DLC or expansion, and then mustard was expansion or DLC or whatever. And then it's like, now it's like the base game is two pieces of bread and some meat. And then tomato is microtransaction, and lettuce is microtransaction, and cheese is microtransaction, and onions is microtransaction, and, and, um, uh... Uh, ketchup is uh, Xbox exclusive and mustard is PlayStation exclusive and I just lost my shit because <laughs> it's so fucking true oh it was so good I fucking loved it anyway um baseball still looks game goes on a nice sale standalone expansions hardly go on sale when they do it's not by much oof that sucks Shiba Oh, listen, I'm a horse kid at heart. I love Sims 3 because of the horses. Hey, if you're old, what am I? I don't remember how old you are. <laughs> Time is money, friend. 
Oh, you bastards. Are you kidding? Oh. It's fine. It's fine. I thought that was gonna be it. It was not. Uh, SimCity veteran. Yes. Oh my god, SimCity with like the the natural disasters when all of a sudden and Sim oh, SimTown. Do you guys remember SimTown? Holy shit, I loved it. I loved it. Just send me on Discord. Thank you, Sam. Just explain Sims for kids in a nutshell. Sim, thanks. Let me just go have a look, because this is gonna be funny. Yes, yeah. Pre-order bonus, yes! Yep, that's exactly it. Game stock exclusive best buy exclusive, yep, that's like ridiculous. Um, did anyone play Roller Coaster Tycoon? It was such a good game. I never really got into the Roller Coaster Tycoon stuff because I was re always really bad at actually building the roller coasters. Like, none of them ever seemed to work correctly. And so that's half the game. Like, so many other games. It's, it's exactly, the rest of the game is exactly like so many other games. So, yeah. Theme Hospital, yes. There we go. Level 50, what's that, 38? Uh, and my sixth one, is that six today? Yeah, because I had 32. Cool. <sighs> um, so theme hospital, yes. Um, uh, two point hospital. Two Point Hospital is the spiritual successor. A lot of the people who worked on Theme Hospital also worked on Two Point. Uh, and I've played through a lot of it and it's fucking fantastic. I highly recommend it. We did it on stream as well, like many moons ago when it first came out. Before did she this year, a little bit of anyone for not recognizing. Adrian never acted. I just brain colander. Brain colander. So we ran an amusement park too. That was fun. Did any poor people play Theme Park World? Ooh. Maybe? I don't remember. Theme Hospital on PlayStation. Really? I had it on PC. It was great. It was just great. It was super awesome. Try every time I tried to ride my comp, it would crash. Oh, I got six level 50. Thank you. Problem with older games, unfortunately. Yeah. Anyone want to sign my guild charter on Jubathos Ally? There you go. Question for anyone out there. Oh, I think I'm gonna go like stretch my legs and stuff for a second. I'm gonna B R B. How are we looking for ads? I might as well play one now. I'm going to stretch my legs a bit. I do have a chair stream. For redemption, so I'm going to do that. Good morning, Tessie! Hello! Um, I will be back shortly. Run away, little girl! Run away! Hi. I know there's a bit of ad still left. Uh, 
right, so 98.29. 98.29. Onward we go. Installment perfect. Oh, I'm four bars away from 50 on this one. Yes, it's awesome. Okay, let's do some hydrates. <sighs> nice, yeah, that's really good, hey? <laughs> Oh wow, my shoulders like snap, crackle, popped, baby. That was good. I liked that. I liked that a lot. <clears throat> okay. Is it a high pops over my shoulders? Yes. <laughs> That is hilarious and ridiculous, and I love it kind of a bit. Oh, fuck. Although you also may not have been talking to me, which also makes that very embarrassing. Uh, but yes, this one is 80% of the way through 49, so this should be quick. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, fucking NPCs, you assholes. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Shaman, let's go! Oh, Writhing Maya, fan-fucking-tastic. I think you'll chatter, but I'll take it. <laughs> Going through all your characters and getting them to 50. Jesse, uh, I've had since June last year, about midway through June, I've been doing, uh, I've set myself a challenge. I called it Fears 50 50s. So the idea was that I wanted to get 50 level 50 plus characters on my account in time for Lovers in the Air, because the Heartbreaker is a one chance per day per tune, if I had the account maximum number of characters, I would have the account maximum number of attempts per day. Uh, and I am 98.29% of the way to my 50-50s. I'm very excited. I have 13 characters, no, 12 now. 12 characters left that are at level 49. The other 38 are at 50 or above. And I am so fucking proud of myself. I am just, oh fuck, wrong button. I am, I'm just like blown away at the fact that I've actually managed to get this far. I'm really, really happy. Excuse me. This is just me getting overt. Wow, yeah, I, that's <laughs> that's kind of how I feel too. Uh, it's it's been a journey. It's been a fucking journey, and uh, today it's it's a marathon stream. We're seven hours and twenty minutes in, uh, and we were hoping that we'd get them done today. I don't think I'm gonna get them done today, but we're gonna get fucking close. We're gonna get so fucking close. See one on Oceanic servers can't lock on those. Lagging is a huge issue. Uh, you don't like the lagging will be fine if all you're doing is signing a guild shutter. Unless you're experiencing genuine connection issues, you're not, you're only gonna have a like lag of maybe 300 to 400 MS. And I mean, I did heroic 25 Lich King on 450 MS, so <laughs> it's, it's totally doable. You can sign a guild shutter at that. Um, <laughs> if you're, if you're experiencing pings of like a thousand or something, then that's a your like a your connection issue, not a not a service issue. Just as a, a heads up. <clears throat> Fun facts with fear. Hey Adir, I missed your message. Hello, welcome back. Um, back Operation True Rage was success. Fantastic. What did you? What were the? What was the spoils? Ah, like Jesse said, yeah, what what was your loot? What did you what did you get? I'm um, from EU. I used to raid in TBC with a girl from Australia. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> I 
but yeah, back in back in like Wrath and stuff, the physical servers were all located in America, um, and now the oceanic flagged servers are located in Sydney. Um, so if you have a decent internet connection, you'll you'll experience like maybe two to three hundred. If I'm if I'm on a server, if I'm in a group with a leader who's from the US, then my ping will be about 200, maybe 300 if it's a bad day. Um, but it's still very playable. You just have to adjust your play somewhat. Um, but if you're just signing your guild charter, then it doesn't matter. Like, it, you don't need to be hitting anything on time or dodging mechanics. It's literally just click a thing and then log off and delete the tune sort of thing. Uh, Yoshi people ask NA, I assume they're talking game region. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Well, NA and Oceanic, yeah, they're the same region, so we just kind of assume. Um, went with corned beef and mustard sandwich. Delicious. Amazing. I fucking love corned beef and mustard. I especially love, like, mustard relish. That shit's so good. So good. Paying a seven on the LSU service? Fantastic. Uh, what's mine at the moment? 17. 17, 18. Usually mine sits around, like, 12 to 16. It's a tiny little bit high today, but it is also the weekend. Um... I guess maybe that affects something. All the people from at home and stuff. Streaming their shit. I do live in an apartment building, uh, so it's a... It's a thing. going on. Something's a little bit strange there. That's okay. Yeah. 65 MS for salifying from EU. Wow, there you go. That's pretty awesome, hey. Pretty fucking impressive. A third of a second to communicate from opposite sides of the world. This is broken. I'm going to reload. <sighs> so many tunes to go. I would really love to finish them off, but I just feel like I'm not going to. We'll see, though. We'll see. Keep on keeping on. Just go as far as we can. Something is broken. Clearly. Whoa. Oh, 
So we can just keep playing. Indeed. Indeed. Whoa, there we go. Something just unstuck. <clears throat> Trying to find me some uh, Grashian Vile Fangs. There don't seem to be too many up at the moment that aren't being attacked by a whole pack of the other things that kill me. Dead. This one. You have more with only four bars. You should level them faster. I hope so. I don't remember. I think most of them have the full level to go. Most of them do. But a handful of them might be closer. I'm just not sure which ones they'll be. I did okay. <laughs> Accidentally pulled a whole shitload more than I thought I would. Uh, but did okay. Had a death counter. Ugh. Why? Why do you hate me like this, Shiba? Why do you hate me so? Congratulations to Meaty, Neke, Zem, Little, Doop, Fairy, uh, BQ, I think that is, and Naughty on all your bonus shit. I'm trying not to die. There we go. I got the tailoring thingy. It was BQ fantastic. Oh man, I started getting more into cooking last year. Didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass. Potatoes are to cut up and cook. It does, they do take time. Depending on how big they are. If you get like longer, thinner ones, not like, not like, like really little long kind of weird ones, uh, like finger potatoes and stuff. But like, if you get ones that are more like disc shaped, like flatter, they're a lot easier to chop through. Um, right, I'm gonna go with this one. King of the Ant Hill. Good morning, Z, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, no war beast for fear. I'm gonna place my berserker. So I'm using baby potatoes, they cook quick indeed. Indeed. All right, I have two more Shattered Hand do what's it's to kill, and I think that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna set me to 50, I think. So this should put me to 50. 
This is 39, right? Fifty fifties. Seventh today. Wait. Yes, seventh today. <clears throat> Wonderful. That was a quick one. <laughs> 98 point four three percent. It's on seven level 50s. Thank you. Need some coffee first before I can answer any questions. Totally fair. Totally fair. This is exciting. exciting it's happening it's finally happening and this is what i wanted like i didn't want to level them one at a time because this epic kind of bam 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 this feels great this is awesome so much better than like drip feeding them down you know uh okay so this one's got 17 bars to go a little bit more. Where is this one up to? I can't believe it's this close. Ah! This is awesome. I'm kind of tempted, like, if we don't finish all of them today, I'm kind of tempted to just cancel Transmog tomorrow and finish off the 50-50s and then get back to Transmog when they're done. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how we go. If you did, I just really want to see that last thing. Yeah, look, it's a bit that way, hey. So do I. So do I. Challenge be max account 50-60s from the map mob farms. Um, it, I've been asked that a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, and the answer is always like maybe, but not yet. Um, so I once I've done this, the next big challenge is getting through those two weeks of lovers in the air. Like that's gonna take everything I have to do, like just under three hours of runs every day for that mount. 
Like, it's going to be one hell of an effort, so that's what I'm going to be focusing my energy towards next. Once that's done, I'll find something. Um, once that's done, we'll find something. Um, but yeah, it's uh, not I'm not a hundred percent sure just yet. There is a lot that I can do with them just at fifty. Like, there's there are not very many things that they have to be sixty to farm. Vast majority of the game content can be farmed with them at fifty. So yeah, it's a bit. I'm um, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> See how we go. I'm done. Okay. Oh, this map drops on the first time. Ah, oh, we'll see how we go. That would be very nice, this though. Curse has not broken me yet. Be very nice. Cause uh, yeah, there's. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I'm definitely feeling like I'm gonna overextend myself for those two weeks if I have to do the whole 750 attempts. So I'd very much like it if it dropped before then. It would be great. I'd be very appreciative. But we'll see. We'll see. Knowing my luck, it'll drop on the very last attempt of the entire event. Uh, <laughs> Shah of anger farming. Definitely a possibility. Most definitely a possibility. Because I also want that mount, and I also want Undasta, and I want Nalak, and I want Rukma, and like, yeah, and Galleon. Like, there's a lot of mounts that have massively high attempt counts that I could definitely go for with my 50 fucking tunes. Um, it just, it takes a while. That's the only problem. <clears throat> Uh, so last time I did a Shah farm, I got through 25 tunes um, in a six hour stream. So it would take roughly two whole streams, like 12 hours because of the respawn timer. It would take roughly 12 hours to get through um, all my tunes. And doing that every week is, is a pretty big thing. Possible. Like I do have... 24 hours worth of stream a week that I have to play with, but doing two Shah Farm streams every week might be a little bit much for some people. But maybe not for others. Like maybe that's maybe that's what I've become known for is the ridiculous shit. Um the ridiculous farms and stuff, and that's where we, we build the um build the community a little more, but we'll see. We'll see. No, I was off getting my potatoes, so sorry if it was asked already. What day are we up to now? Oh, I haven't actually updated the percentage for a little while. Let me just have a double check. Um. Let me just... Hide the rest of this. Uh, 98.43 puts us up to the 29th of Jan. Which is eight days until deadline. So we're seven days ahead uh, and eight days off the deadline. In terms of where we're up to. So that's really good. Uh, what song is it drops? Indeed. Crazy and Dusty Lady. Meet a potato pie, you must go find one. Oh dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> Wig your head is great. Oh fuck yeah, it is. Absolutely. Whew. I just like, that's the first time I realized we're actually like two weeks away from the deadline. Like tomorrow is two weeks till deadline. And I, I just remember when it was like six months that we had, you know? It was just, yeah. This has been one hell of a journey. One hell of a journey. But I did say it had speed up a whole lot when, like, towards the end. I did say because, like, 
49 to 50 accounts for nearly 8% of the total experience from 1 to 50. That's a big jump. So I, I knew it was going to be quicker towards the end at a gain speed, like, you know, rolling down a hill. But, um, yeah, this has been good. You sure did, uh-huh. I just want to get as many as I possibly can get done today. I'd like, oh, it'd be so good if I could finish it, but I don't think I'm going to. I, I think too many of them still have, like, the whole level to go. I know, I know there are a few that are quite close, but, um, I don't know how many exactly, and I don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately, but that's okay. It'll be worth it when you sit on that new mount, though. Oh, fuck yeah, it will. Oh, fuck yeah. However, I do also need to remember 3,333. It's like, and I've got 850 attempts on the board, and I've got another 750 attempts to do with the 5050s. That's not 3,333. That's still only 1,600. And I mean, although, like, that's it's not, not even halfway to the drop count. So, like, I am, yeah, I just have to kind of keep in mind that, um, the numbers are not with me. <laughs> the numbers, they are not with me. It's not working. Fuck the numbers, we're here, we're with you. Yeah, look, I, I, it would be great. It would be absolutely fantastic. And I'm gonna give it a red hot go anyway, because if you don't try, it can't drop. And if you miss out, I have a farming team ready for every mount going forward, including this one next year. Absolutely. Without this guy. Absolutely. Still a good chunk though, glass half full and all that. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a time, that is for sure. That is for sure. <sighs> Sunny and nervous now. <laughs> oh, fucking ropes everywhere. I got too generally couldn't live without that add-on. Uh, it's so useful, isn't it? And not just for leveling either, like all the other guides and stuff they have is just phenomenal. Welcome on in, by the way, Goldie. I hope you're having a lovely day. But yeah, it's just, it makes so many things so much easier. It's unbelievable. Highly recommend.
if anyone has Kelpie stones and intensity list and any have food. Or my dog. Indeed. I do not have a Kelpie. But uh look, I mean food is delicious, I can't really blame them. Sixty percent for fifteen. The reason I have a bounce around all wine, the Kelpies are statues. So interesting. Quests ready to turn in. Ah, patience. It'll be fine. We'll get the. One more dust. Are you kidding me? stare and stare and half sneeze and stare some more when he wants something he fake sneezes. Oh dear. Maybe I should do that when I want candy. That must be a plum thing. My plum next looks like this. Same thing although while bouncing. <laughs> what kind of noise was that? Good lord. Shadows gather. This curse has not broken me. Okay. Next area. Where are at now? 71. Oh, it's this area again. Right, I always forget this. Why do I always forget this? A dark wind is blowing. What are we without the sky? I've got three range left to level out of the whole pack. That's interesting. Ah, uh, the word foxy. The word Foxy was the one that got caught. I don't remember what category it was under because I only saw it for like less than half a second before she even let it through. But um, if I had to guess I'd probably say sexual because that's usually what it catches. Sexual, yep. Yeah. Foxy and then bouncing. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, look. That makes sense. Bots can't tell context. Thank you, Shiva. I think some of those words could be in that context. Yeah, well, that's because, like, in that sentence and what we were talking about, they weren't. So, it, like, it makes sense, but, yeah, no. Oh, the one has to be overly cautious. That's okay. Autobot is a funny thing. Indeed. I mean, Automod is even funnier, but yeah. Of course, of course. 
Yeah, I, I like to know because I like to giggle about it. But I can see, because I'm also a moderator. Because I'm the streamer. Ooh, okay, so I have enough quests to turn in that I could actually hit 50, but so many of them are like all over the place. So it wouldn't be very useful. <clears throat> I think that might be more effective for me to just keep doing what I'm doing. You never really know what words it'll block, to be honest. I mean, we had a big issue with put and grats, as in, like, GZ before, yeah. So, it's, it's a whole thing. And then, it catches words sometimes that aren't even there, which is fantastic. Mmm, stream having more privileges? It doesn't seem right. I know, right? Magic. I am here hacksaws. Excavator. Fucked me over. Oh. <clears> Thirty percent <throat> durability. Let's fix that, shall we? I've seen things that would scare you shellless. With some of these macros, they're just not working. Have a good night, rest well, Handel. We'll see you next time. Also, don't forget the answer. Uh.
Ta-da. Alright. Let's free some outcasts. sleep well last night like at all but still uh, 200 times no ray I get text input to chat but no bar like yours is it the setting in rarity click the mini map button a uh, little shiba bougie on my video so much I'm just going to take my entire stream which I'm using just over half and the rest is supposed to feel brilliant Sounds perfect. Hey, Kylie, how you doing? <sighs> but yeah, Meaty, um, if you click the mini map button, it makes it appear or disappear. Like toggles the percentage bar. Missing one. Uh, yeah, I'm going alright, Kylie. Um, little, like, feeling a little bit like I've hit a wall, honestly. Which is, I know, well, okay, I've just looked at the time and I've been live for eight hours, that probably explains it. Um, but overall I'm doing pretty okay. Um, 7.50 so far today. Which is fantastic. This will be number eight. 40 total. 40 out of 50. But yeah, I'm just, um... I didn't get a whole lot of rest last night at all. So I think it's starting to catch up with me. But we'll see how we go. What's for a bubble tea? Bubble tea with dinner. I do have a glass of lemon lime bitters though, so I mean, and I've also still got those grapes, so there's a bit of sugar here, and I've still got a whole bloody chicken tender. Um, so it's no fix now, they go. Yeah, the mini map button, um, if you hover over it, it takes ages to come up until, like, if you go through and minimize all the groups, it'll be much, much quicker. Um, or minimize all the groups except for the one you're working on, sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good one. Mm. Hi hey, yeah. But look. If I if I actually hit like a problematic wall that I don't think I can push through, um then I can always like as much as I don't want to, I can tap out and like add the leftover hours to the start of tomorrow's stream or something. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather get them done today. And get the leveling done. But um we will see how we go. Let's see how we go. For a healthy functional stream, absolutely. As would I. Hmm. I'd never make myself ill. I know how much it affects me. I'd never do that.
Congratulations to Gruben, Adam, Cheerful, BQ, Neke, Little, Meaty, Zam, and Fairy on all your bonus shit. It's a skin chair. So there's three different skins you can pick up from these ones. Make sure to place your units if you would like your chance of getting one. <clears throat> and uh draw back the veil. There we go. Eight today. Forty out of fifty fifties. Eight today. <clears throat> the shadows are more restless. Let me tell you a story. An eight, thank you. So I can close ten to go. You would understand if you need to call it. I know, I know, and I appreciate that. I really do. So I can close. Take care of yourself out there. This is the monk. Ninety eight point five eight. Another day, we're up to the 30th of Jan. Okay. To the next one. There she is. I think this is another like bang on 50 to 49 one. Oh, not bang on. <clears throat> Half decent. 17%. So, Ally Lena is the one who's 99%. Trimia's 17, Aldella's 8, 7, 6. So, these ones are all really close to just 49. Horde side, we have 35, 2, 2, 1, 0. Like, bang on 49. So, uh, we've only got one more that's going to be an easy ding. The rest of them I'm actually going to have to put in work for. So, I don't think I'm finishing them today, but that's okay. I reckon we can probably finish them tomorrow. <clears throat> Bang on two weeks before deadline sounds pretty good to me. What about you guys? I don't 
dark wind is blowing. I could probably finish off my alliance tunes though, at the very least. Ahead, why not two? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've still got four hours left today, so. I reckon that's enough time to get four of them done. One, two, three, four, and that'll do me a, like, that'll be all the alliance done. Just hard to go. <clears throat> It just depends what parts they're up to, though, because there are certainly parts of the zone that go a lot slower than others. stream going. So far so good. Eight new 50s. I'm pretty happy with that. How are you going Sam? been working today. They were all either 48 or 49, keeping this in mind. But uh yeah we've been we've been capping them off. It's felt good. About ready to go home. Almost there. Brilliant. Good to hear. Dear. This is gonna be awesome when this is done. Holy shit. This is gonna so good. to worry about it'll be all done well for now <laughs> you want to give me the scrolls I need oh okay that sucks I'm sorry to hear that Mm-hmm. 
purpose of love is in the air anyway. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Maybe eventually I'll start slowly chipping away at uh, 50 60s, but like. Uh, maybe not just yet. <laughs> maybe not just yet. Um, I'm gonna take a very quick break. Uh, I need to make use of the facilities. Uh, so I'll be right back. Uh, take this chance to grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, all that kind of fun shit. Uh, or go to the bathroom like I am. Be right back. Hi Chair, how do you keep yourself fresh with marathon streams? Do you have a pre-stream routine or do you just wing it? I think Chair just wings it. But I'm not too sure. Chair doesn't usually tell me its secrets. Hello Daz, how are you going? Chair is quite secretive when it comes to that kind of stuff. Not a very uh, open communicator. Three bottles down. Good lord. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever been so hydrated. But Chair has some great stories. Oh, absolutely. Chair's been with me for years. Like, literally, almost the start of my streaming career. Nearly six years.
Come on, just give me the shadow dust. This has got to be this has to be one of my least favorite areas of spires. Honestly. Oh, God. <clears throat> Can't breathe. Great zero. Yep. Yep. What's the drop rate of that from open water? Okay, we should cover the cup. Hold the built on. If they did, I'd remove it personally. I don't use the armrests on my chair either, because um, I like to sit cross-legged, and if I do that, I can't with the arm poles in the way. I don't put the armrests on any of my chairs. <clears throat> I also like to scoot in like really really close like have the desk up against my belly and I can't do that if the armrests are there either. Um, it's a bit the wrong height for my actual arms and all that kind of shit so yeah I'm good. Um, Ikea has a whole gaming range now uh, and one of the things that they have is like desk accessories and it's like a clamp that clamps onto the edge of your desk and it's a cup holder. <clears throat> so it's like it's removable and movable and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're looking for like a cup holder for your desk, um, prevent your glasses from being knocked over and things like that, it's definitely something to look into and it's pretty reasonably priced from memory as well. <clears throat> Mm. Remove the arms. So if it's under my desk, yeah, that too. I mean, you can just drop the arms on the chair down a little. Like some of them have like those adjustable height arms, but they just they still just get in the way for me. So I uh, I don't use them. But each their own. No harm. Like they're included for a reason, and they're not permanently attached for a reason. I mean, we get to pick, don't we? It's beautiful. One in one thousand. Ah, uh, gotcha. Based on the percentage. Breathing is quite a luxury in this economy. Yeah, like one of my sinuses is just completely like solid, blocked, nothing, nothing going through. The other one seems to be fine, but I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting enough air. Like I feel like I'm out of breath just sitting here, and I'm not. I mean, I'm unfit, but I'm not that unfit. Um, it's my sinuses being dicks. <clears throat> Couple of these came in handy with the kitten. I found arms don't come high enough on the chair. Interesting. There you go. Wind is blowing. Shadows gather. Quite sure, I need my desk very low to touch the floor. So off come the arms. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. I do have the desk that I have is not great though. Like I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's I think it's a Malm from IKEA. I wouldn't recommend it as a gaming chair. Um, the the drawers at the front are super handy until you realise it means that you've got this much space between the tops of your thighs and where your arms can rest. Um, and it's just not ergonomic in the slightest. Uh, I would love to upgrade my desk, but um, we'll replace it. It is it is old, um, but it's just not a high priority at the moment. Even when the once the dentistry is paid for, there's there's other things that are high higher priority. Uh, so e, but I'm also quite short. I um I am five three. So I feel the short person problems. Mono say okay ones where you buy the parts and make your own. Cool. Awesome. Is fear small? Yes. Take them away from me so I don't eat all of them. But while they're here, I really try to. I need probably another five centimeters or so in arm height. Not high enough for my arms to rest comfortably. Totally fair. Interesting. Love that Zam occasionally pops in for those. Agreed. They're wonderful. <clears throat> it's 
Small but mighty, indeed. Though she be but small, she is fierce. Or whatever the fuck that actual quote is. It's actually a um, uh, cross stitch pattern on my Etsy wish list that has that quote on it. It's very cute. But um, uh, fun fact: Throne can't do digital Etsy products. Because you can't gift them. And their business model, like the way they have to do it for like tax purposes and stuff like that, is they have to purchase it from their billing address and have it gifted, like gift shipped to me. So they can't do digital. I remember bless her heart, always used to say all the best things come in small packages. I might say it would be nice to be taller. Five foot tall, just a little bit more, yeah. <clears throat> mm. I too have been given that line multitudes of times. Mm. All right. On to this one. What are we at? Forty five percent. I will not fall asleep. I will not fall asleep. This fucker takes room to die. <laughs> oh dear. And it did do the thing. Last signature needed. Well done, Kay. Congratulations. There is well time in DT patch notes. Well done. Oh, that's hilarious. Whew, okay. You just see sleep in your chair. Yeah, I'd get reported and banned. Um. <laughs> Guarantee you there's someone hay watching who would, uh. who would report for ban. <clears throat> or at least suspended. I mean, that is like a, you know, still ban. Streaming in the wrong category. I that yesterday fear was working, apparently I was. I did work before stream today. Because I had to. There was shit I had to get done. <laughs> that overtime today.
This little area always takes so goddamn long, and I mean, you get to turn all the quests at the end, but it still just takes so fucking long. It's like you're making no progress. Like I'm still on 50%, we are on 45, like how long ago? Yeah. I'm gonna get away with that. But no. Excuse me, Mr. Adherent Windlasher. What are you sitting on? I like their feathers though. It's a bird fit. No, I know, but he's not flying. He's not even hovering. He's just, he's perched on something. I think he's supposed to be on this little ledge here. But he's not. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Levitating. Fucking levitate you. This curse has not broken me yet. Excuse me. Uh, we are now at 65. Seventy-five. 
Long ago, a blood main pride lord commanded his hunters to bring him 10,000 Aracoa feathers. Eager for the glory of battle, the no, young no, chieftain no, had no, hoped no, to incite no. a war with the Aracoa. But the Talon King came alone. Congratulations to Draz, K, and Neke on your bonus shit. Tell me who got skins, please and thank you. I would love to know if you got a skin. Just chilling in the air, nothing unusual. Uh huh, uh huh. Beast? What beast? It's my fifth placement. Fucking finally. Well, the cooldown on those make those quests just so painful to do. I like doing things now. <laughs> I like doing things now. Uh, okay. skin for you that's okay uh some ledges are actually bigger than they seem like graphics wise they look normal in programming they're bigger yeah that many times we're falling on nothingness around ledges to learn that wisdom yeah it's not then it's not quite perfect yeah <laughs> for certain for certain wings he cut down even the strongest of the blood and pride like so was many fierce, blades of grass. but he was no match for Terak. how far are you into completing the 50 50s 40. 40 out of 50 50s the 10 remaining are all 49. power matched only by the wind so my percentage at the moment is 98.58, which is very exciting. The pieces of very exciting. Robot. How are you going, Scarlet? Hope you're having a lovely day. You can do it. Thank you. I'm hoping that today, by the end of stream, I'll be able to finish off my Alliance tunes. Right. Uh, yes. And I'm thinking I might make an adjustment to tomorrow's stream to finish off the Horde tunes. So I'm just done. Because I feel like that'd be really nice. No, it'd be really nice. Our eighty-one percent. This curse has not broken me yet. <clears throat> so eighty-two percent. Light to tell him. Shh. But are we without the sky? Is there stuff to turn in over? There is. Yeah, the actual quest called Talon Watch. Good. Oh dear. Started a spreadsheet with my characters. Nice. What kind of information have you got in your spreadsheet? I did a quest cleanup which abandoned the Shadowlands quest, but it won't let like you have to pick it up again. If you're over 48, it'll force it back into your log. So yep. Little race class spec. Gold covered around soul ash soul cinders. Oh wow. Nice. Well done.
going to take me a while. Mm hmm. All the best things do, don't they? I believe in you. You can do it. It's going to be amazing and so useful to you as well. Like, absolutely super useful. Embrace the spreadsheet. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Embrace the spreadsheet. Yep. Exactly. I have the heirlooms for? Yes, that's a really good idea. And then, like, you can start upgrading the heirlooms for the rest of them later. It's a really good plan. <clears throat> that's another issue with starting to work on my 5060s is, like, oh my god, I'm gonna spend so much gold on upgrading heirlooms. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to eventually anyway, but it just, oof, god, the idea is, is painful. But at the same time, I don't really want to upgrade. Like, I don't want to level all my clothies, then all my plate wearers. That, like, I did. That sounds really boring. Um, <laughs> that sounds really boring. <clears throat> uh, hey, Grim. All right, just Fiamma is fine. Or Fear. I don't need to use an honorific. Oh, you, what? <clears throat> the process of farming up all my blacksmithing and plans again. Oh, isn't there a, like a an item you could buy to relearn them if you dropped a profession? Inspired by all those people who were like afraid to change professions because they lose recipes that aren't in the game anymore and stuff. Uh, you know what's funny? I named my first ult with Eli, and all my future ults have started with Eli. There you go. Very interesting. <clears throat> Depends on the expansion. Older ones don't have that gotcha. Understood. I thought they added them in retroactively, but obviously I'm wrong. That's okay. It is kind of cool that they have them for the more recent ones, though. Ah, uh, delete blacksmithing before I realized I lost years. So I still have weapons for the blacksmithing. Uh, had all the recipes and a GM either couldn't or wouldn't give it back in BFA. I'd say he couldn't. Um, there's only so such a like. There's only a certain period of time that they can retain that kind of data. Um, and a lot of the time, if it's something that you've made the decision to remove, like, they're not going to give it back to you. Um, they don't have the authority to override that kind of thing, so, um, I'd say it would have been a couldn't. Are you kidding? I need one more congealed blood. Ugh. Ah, <clears throat> uh, for ways of big patch in that time, I was told you the patch I couldn't see my private fish anymore. Yeah, I mean, big patch. Uh, big patches is usually when they go through and clear out old data and stuff. It makes sense. 
Oh, it sucks. Doesn't mean it sucks any less. Um, but it does make sense. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you have uh, luck in drops getting them to, to pop up again for you. <clears throat> this curse has not broken me yet. I created 16 alts. Nice! That's awesome. Well on your way, Scarlet. Well on your way. TPC portion. Nice! Running separate trick happens over and over, trash only. Yeah. God, I remember doing that for Sunwell, trying to get the uh, dual crafting patterns. Fun times, fun times. Just like all the trash up to the first boss and run out and reset. All the trash up to the first boss, run out and reset. Oof. I'm still waiting on a bunch of those to drop. I remember that drop. It's a 0.11%. Yeah. But at least it's not just like one boss that can drop it and you can only do that one boss once a week. Like it could be worse. At least you're able to kill, you know, 50 or so every run sort of thing. <clears throat> really working on setting up one of each class of both Horde and Ally. Nice. Awesome. It's a good setup. Well, you can pull all the trash bombs and not even touch the boss. Correct. Yeah, SSC is set up beautifully for that, hey literally every single trash mob in the entire place. Not a single boss. Uh, sounds like you're on the right track, Grim. I hope I hope it drops for you soon. I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, and all the patience. Or as like if, you, if you're like me, uh, I, I always say that I'm not patient, I'm stubborn. Uh, <laughs> Still need to unlock Dark Iron and Cool Tyrant. Yeah. Yeah. Cool Tyrion was my last one to do because I had to do the Proud More Admiralty rep and I hadn't done it because Alliance and yeah, that was the whole thing. Uh, they do drop the dual crafting pattern setting at 50 runs today only. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sometimes it's good to set yourself a cap, hey, because otherwise you could just go endlessly and end up burning yourself out and then you'll never get it done because you'll never want to go back because you've got those horrible memories and like, yeah, nah, it's a good idea to set yourself a limit. Uh, three mages, priests, and example for each spec. Ah, interesting. Fair enough. Uh, I've got four- Ah! That was unexpected! Brilliant. 41. Out of 50 50s. That's my ninth today. A ninth today. Thank you. Another rep for the mounts. Yas. Let's get some nine. Thank you, Matt. Much appreciated. Right. So that's Trimia. She's now 50. I'm 98.72% done. And that's January. 31st of January. Done. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm almost there, you guys. What the fuck? Back to the <clears throat> Back to the garrison. Thank you, Phoenix. Woo! All the hype. The end is in sight, it is. So goddamn close. And this bitch is like 20 experience off, so she's gonna be an instant ding.
Question, why do I still see finished stream goals on my redemptions? Because I haven't flagged them as like completed from my end. I can probably do that. <clears throat> um, that would be under channel points, manage rewards and challenges, markers complete, confirm, markers complete, confirm. There you go. You should no longer see them. The idea is that it's supposed to sit there until you've actually done it, so that you confirm that you've finished it. Do you see this this bar? Sorry, 209. 209 XP. And is near indeed. Hey, have you decided what to do on the Friday streams after finishing 50-50s? I'm not going to have to worry about that until like literally after February because February is just going to be so goddamn busy. Um, so, yeah. Oh, am I not? Oh, cheeky cheeky. I used to get X, uh, XP from, from looting those on some tunes, but I don't anymore. Okay, bugger. Um... Exarch's Refuge, Talador. Need help? Go with <clears throat> Thank you, welcome. Murder something. Just kill some mobs. I'm wondering if I'll get the, the exploration experience on the flat path. That could be really funny. <clears throat> Probably not the bad looks of it. <clears throat> yes, we've been gathering garrison for some time now. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been able to get it, so I haven't done gathering in the garrison for a long time. You know what I found that's helpful using the scouting maps? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, the scouting maps are really good for triggering um, garrison invasions too. Trying to get the mounts to drop. No exploration. Damn. No exploration zones. Oh, you know, I don't I don't want to do that. If I'm leveling them, like if I'm leveling characters, I want to be able to get the exploration uh, exploration experience as well. And if you use the scouting maps, you don't get that. That quest might do you. Oh, the quest will. The, the quest will absolutely do me. <clears throat> But also, if I haven't exp if I haven't got the flight path from over here, this might be exploration XP. Maybe we'll see. No, Leaf I didn't get any. Our position from Terengor, okay. and his forces have not yet left Gorrock for their final march on Akendun. We have the element of surprise on our side. Greetings. The they are far too powerful done. to attack. The Escalon is most familiar with this area. I believe he has a plan. Twenty-two. That's my tenth today. <clears throat> so easy, Gratz, I know, right? You gonna say Garrison murdered a wolf? Nah. Less fun. 10 level 50s, uh, 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 power leveling. I know, right? Speed leveling. Speed running bullshit. Take care of yourself out there. Oh, fuck. 98. <clears throat> It's mage time.
happy fear movements. Always. Always happy. And I'm leveling. Eight forty nines to go. Eight. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, I've only got three alliance to go. A mage, a druid, and a pally. But they're all like bang on 49. So. <clears throat> My one mage so far. Good, good. Wait for more grain. Okay. Go. I delete all my characters on my account. Oh no. So good. Okay, so she's at 8% or 7%. We'll go with 7. 7% into 49. So let's see how quickly we can get her to ding. Oh, excuse me, I think she's in a faster part of Spires. Why? There we go. The progress bar wasn't up. <clears throat> Not a single one of my tunes has made it out of spires so far. Like that. Fair enough. Not the progress bar in Zygo are very handy. Uh, it doesn't work so well for Wall of Drenal though, because part of the progress bar is the other building that you build in the in the area. Um, so it, it is a little misleading for for what. Um, I've got my tunes spread across two servers because the ten instances per hour limit is server based not account based. So if you hit 10 instances on one server, so I've got like all my Horde, for example, on Saofang and my Alliance on Amon Thul. So if I'm on Horde on Saofang and I hit 10 and it's like, you have entered too many instances recently. Uh, I can jump to Amon Thul on my Alliance and keep going in instances until I hit 10 on that side as well. Um, so mine is spread across two, two servers. 30 and 20. <clears throat> Can I level some alts using dungeons? No. I'm talking like when I'm farming transmog and shit. I level through questing. I, I'm not a fan of group content for, for leveling. <clears throat> Just a personal choice. this game but have no clue what I'm doing that's okay Brutus half of us don't more than half of us don't <laughs> as long as you're having fun that's what's important no stress at all uh, if you do have any questions most of us here would be happy to help some of us are assholes and will bite but I'm kidding um, <laughs> if you have any like specific questions we'll be happy to help I'm with you only level through questing yeah, I just prefer it. Like, even even questing in a group can get sticky. Because uh, there's always going to be a point where you have all the stuff you need for the quest, but the other person hasn't got the drops yet. Or vice versa. So, like, it always, like, they're going to hold you back, or you're going to hold them back, and it just, it's a bad feeling overall. So uh, I tend to prefer to go solo. The only exception to that is a new expansion, uh, where Jas and I will group, group up and, uh, and level together. But that's basically the only time. <laughs> mm. 
Nine hours down. Nine hours down. Up. This building. This pack. Go. Face the bomb. Switch this one. <clears throat> another bomb. Let me go turn a pack of quests in. Very exciting. Hey, how you doing? Take the plunger. And ride on Kimsey's flying machine. And we're at 25%. Nine hours in. Nine hours of leveling, so you know. <laughs> Plus the shit sleep I had last night kinda adds to everything. Upload this 12 hours on for t-shirt. I'm gonna fucking try. I'm gonna fucking try. We'll see how it goes. It'll probably take three fucking days to render. 15 weeks to upload. We'll try. I'm really looking forward to going to bed. It's gonna be a wonderful evening. <laughs> Do you render exactly as an OBS automatically save the stream? Yep, but I have the bit at the start that I attach. It's so it has to time. render it as one file. Draw back the veil. And it takes overnight to render one six hour. A dark wind is blowing. 
<clears throat> yeah, so OBS records, and then after stream I record the little clip explaining, like the little intro thing. And then uh, in Vegas I uh, stick them the other way around. Stick them together, the clip, uh, like clip down the intro to get the dead air off either end and then do the same for the stream, like clip the starting soon and streams over now screens at the end. Clip them down a little at least. Um, and uh, and then yeah, then render. Unfortunately I'm yet to find a program that can just kind of stitch them together without having to re-render the whole thing. videos getting the view numbers you hope for. I don't really have a hope for it. I just kind of thought let's give this a try and see what happens. I didn't really like it. It honestly doesn't take me too much work. It's more just letting my PC do stuff while I'm like asleep. <laughs> Most of the actual work it does happens overnight. It takes me all of about seven or eight minutes to get everything into Vegas and put it where I want it. Uh, and then I save it and exit and do the next one and I try to stack up a bunch of them that are all edited and then right before I go to bed I open Vegas, I load up the next one that I need you to do and I hit render and I let it happen overnight. Um, if I try rendering more than one overnight, um, they take like three days to do in total, like all of them at once. So, <laughs> so I go one at a time. Uh, Neke, Cheerful, Meaty, Grubin, Zam and Draz, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Uh, so it does the whole thing all over just to stitch those two things. Yeah, well, I don't think that there's any other way to do it. Like, I've not seen any other way to do it. Then again, I'm also not a professional person person. Um, so, like, yeah, that's, like, literally the only way I know how to make one solid video is to do it like that. Um, so, yes, it's good fun. That's silver. Is that gold? It is. Let's do gold. Bonus shit! Bonus shit! Right, so I'm just leveling shit, hey. Berserker. I also did kill the two flying units, so I can turn that in. Sorry, three ranged units. I haven't killed the flying units yet. <clears throat> like, I can't seem to kill the flying units. I don't know what's going on. Ooh! I'm to specialize the musketeer. That's my second musketeer, isn't it? What's my other one that I have? I don't want to re specialize. Extra range 8. 50 attack power. Nearby ranged allies. I think I have a sniping musketeer then. Because it says nine, but like. My master. Cool. Hmm. Morning, dragons. How goes it? Yeah, not too bad. 4250s. Which I'm pretty fucking happy about. Holy master. Yes, that is the one I ended excuse me, ended up going with. <clears throat> I think the other one was the middle one. Like my original one. I can't remember though. That's okay. No big deal.
next time. The guy in stream guide is dot info. They recommend sniping first, then volume master with the duelist out since the buffer gets isn't worth it. Uh, yeah, I don't really like care super muchly. Um, it's more just like, hey guys, place whatever you're trying to level and let's have fun. <laughs> I'm kind of like a, a like a, a um a captain for for like the serious players to just kind of abuse so they don't have to actually strategize they can just use my battlefields to level up whatever weaklings they're trying to get done um <laughs> i am i'm totally happy with people just doing whatever so it doesn't um the the volley master one seemed nice because it buffs more people uh, and i like helping you guys out to like get shit done so that's um yeah i guess that's kind of yeah. Uh, chilling out the back, have the barbie on snakes for the kids, just cracked a cider. Nice. It sounds delicious. What kind of cider? I feel like to get shit done. Have you seen my spreadsheets? Be apple. Ooh, not bad, not bad. That's why I like joining your battles. They're very chill. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, it's just like if there's something that you're like trying to focus on to get done for like one of the more intense captain stuff, then yeah, by all means, place it. I like totally happy with that. Is this, oh my god, where? Ah, uh, no, rat. Are you still doing your 50 50s? Yes, that's what I'm working on today. We've got 10 new 50s today. We're sitting at 42 total out of 50. Some people say it's too sweet. They say it could be sweeter, but I'm happy with it. Other people are wrong. Uh, look, I am a big fan of a sweet cider because I'm a sweet tooth. So like, there's got to be those options. There has to be those products for those people, you know? Like, I, I, I like sweet stuff, but I don't want to drink something that's absolutely packed full of other, like artificial sugar, like a goddamn cruiser or something. So I'm happy that there are sweeter um, ciders on the market, but as well as drier ones and cloudy ones and like just all of these different types of ciders. The more on the market, the more everyone wins. So yeah, like if they want something less sweet, then they can drink something else. In my honest opinion. <laughs> if sweet ciders, yeah, me too. Me too. Nice grads, thank you. Is it a gnome? I thought I heard. No, Zuki, this one is. Yeah, Ara, this one, this one's a gnome. Uh, this is Sindeli. She's a, uh, like, um, a, a throwback to my, like, well, not original. Okay, when I first started playing WoW, uh, I played a Blood Elf Mage, but it was only for a few months. Uh, I got her to 70, we started BC. Got her to 70, and the group that I'd been playing with, turns out most of them had mains on Alliance side. So I created a new alliance tune on their server so that I could like level with them and stuff, um, like on their alliance server. And uh, so, yeah, she was a gnome mage because of the intellect bonus. Um, and so this is kind of a throwback to that fear, who was the first one who actually raided and shit. And then eventually I went back to horde, uh, and I main horde now. But yeah, definitely a gnome, definitely. Long time since I played, still a noob. Got a rogue wagon, nice! Awesome, I hope you're enjoying it. Record league is chef's kiss, very expensive, more alcoholic, and smaller bottles. Record league, smaller bottles? I thought the recorder league bottles were half a liter each. Do they have smaller bottles now? 
Thank you, Gigi. I've been on drinking. How did you be his recently? Or did you both? Ah, oh, see, I like I haven't had like I haven't had record like in years. Um, but back what I remember was that they had the 500 ml bottles, and then eventually they brought out like the little cans as well, but only for like limited flavors. Um, I don't didn't know they had like long necks as well. But yeah, Record League is like um, just incredible for the like interesting flavors. I probably wouldn't go with Recorder League Apple, <laughs> um, just because like their strawberry and lime, their passion fruit, that kind of shit. Um, around winter time, I absolutely get their like I would get their spiced apple cider. Um, it goes really really well if you empty a couple of bottles into like a slow cooker and then heat them up. Oof, delicious, mold cider. Um, but, Copperberg. <clears throat> Copperberg, uh, lo like, again, years ago. Um, but last time I had them, they had a blueberry and elderflower. Which was just in fucking incredible. Their strawberry and lime is also really, really good. And super different to Recorder Legs as well. Recorder Legs is very heavy on the lime. It's quite zingy and fresh and light. Uh, and uh, Copperberg's is very heavy on the strawberry. It almost tastes like strawberry jam with a little bit of a kick to it. It's so good, like so tasty. Um, yeah. At least that's what it was like the last time I had it. The good brand, mm. Copperberg was great. Wildberry one, yes. Wildberry recorder league was really good. But yeah, if I'm gonna go like apple cider, I tend to just go like a, a cheapy mass like more mass produced. I'm aware that Recorder League is mass produced. It just doesn't feel as mass produced. It feels somewhat fancier. Um, but yeah, I go something cheaper if I'm just going a basic apple. But um, yeah, gnomes are the best. I wish they could be paladins. Yeah, small bottles and the big boys. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Learn something new every day. Wonderful. All right, so I need to bonk two of these, two more of these orcs. Excuse me. Also enjoy a nice crisp pear snack. Especially on like a really muggy day, a crisp pear, like a, yeah, really, really tasty. Agreed. Because Strongbow was the first one I got into, first mainstream cider we had in Australia. Ah! There you go. Okay, uh, we are at 70%. We're about to drink the elixir of Shadow. The cider in the fridge! Good job, Kay. Good job. I think I might. Put some pause and refund you all your redemptions because I have no water left and I've drained that bottle three times and I feel like um given that my body is usually quite dehydrated I don't think it's gonna know what the fuck to do with a whole liter and a half of water <laughs> so I think I might just let it deal with that mm, what time are you planning to go till today 10 till 10 10 till 10 uh good day is Korean rice wine is nice and all sorts of flavors. Pomegranate, watermelon. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Uh, how are you holding up? How long left on stream, do you think? Um, well, we've been going for nine hours and 21 minutes, according to my little counter, but your counter on Twitch might be slightly different. Um, so we're, we were planning on going 12, like 12 hour uh, marathon stream. So I think I'm going okay. I think I'm going okay. I did definitely hit a wall around the eight hour mark, but I'm not, and I'm not like, super energetic um but i'm definitely doing better than i was an hour and a half ago so i think i'm just gonna try to keep going and see how we see where we end up i'd love to get all of my alliance tunes finished i think that'd be amazing um i feel like that's a really good milestone to kind of be there uh, and i've got three more of those to do uh, i'm like halfway through getting this one done um and uh, so I, I had three to go oh, when I had three hours left to go. Uh, where, like, as I hit the nine hour mark, I had three left. Or just before the nine hour mark, I think. 
So, um, yeah. We'll see how we go. I might even have time to squeeze in another horde, but no promises. <laughs> so you're back from going dinner, of course, of course. Yes, the alliance, 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 alliance. Whew. structures so let's do those while I eat up Generic pop-up notification. Oh, there we go. Ah, so yeah, no, it's just... It's just Shailene's. Cool. So I've got enough quests in my log to cover 50. Uh, that's nice. I just need to get the goddamn shadow dust. <laughs> I forget how squishy mages are. <laughs> this fear is pretty well geared. <clears throat> I haven't been like super duper chatty today, but I think it's been nice and chill. I hope everyone's been like enjoying the audio. Is being squishy, yes. That eh? Very and always. <clears throat> Oh, super exhausted. No worries, matey. Me too. I feel you. Rest well, and I'll see you tomorrow. face stealer bastards are stealing all my health as well. Oh, it's just what I needed after having a migraine. Perfect stream watching for me today. Yay! I'm so pleased to hear that, Nutty. That's really good. I do like being able to provide the kind of entertainment that people need. <laughs> Feels good. Come on, drop me a piece of dust. Yes! Amazing. 
have to kill another face stealer. This curse has not broken me yet. Shadows gather. You excited for 9 2? Uh, yeah. Um, I've done exactly zero reading on it because I don't want any spoilers. So just before we have any sorts of discussions, absolutely no spoilers. This is a spoiler-free stream. Um, do not do the thing well, because you will actually get timed out and or banned. Um, not something this I'm okay with here. Really uh, but yeah, so I've been yet. actively avoiding literally anything about it. Um, just because I know even talking about mechanics, wow, head will drop a goddamn spoiler in there as well. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I am really looking forward to playing through the storyline and stuff, though. And discovering it all fresh on day one, it'll be very exciting. Very exciting. How many characters is this now? Uh, this will be number 43 out of 50 to hit 50. Uh, I've done 10 today, so this will be number 11 that I'm doing today. some characters on your servers in case of future charity events. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Ready. Sweet. <clears throat> just and same I'm trying not to look uh, or anything as everything still has anything being changed or PTI is now of course of course it is still in a test realm anything and everything could be slightly different uh, once we get to live um, but yeah in particular like one of my one of the big things about my content in particular is that we do storyline um, like big dip big time we do storyline like reading all the quests aloud kind of story to a uh, storyline um, and being able to do that fresh with zero knowledge and all of my reactions being 100% genuine first look, all that kind of shit, um, is really important to me. Uh, and I assume my viewers as well, because they're still here for it. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's why I kind of avoid the spoilers. Um, so that when things happen on stream and they're shocking or whatever, I like, it's my genuine reaction that you're getting the first time that I'm seeing it, and uh, it's more fun that way, in my opinion, but that's okay. Like, there's, if, if you like doing stuff differently, not speaking specifically to Dragon, but like, if anyone out there prefers to do things differently, totally fine. 100% okay. Uh, I would just like that you also respect my choices and don't give them the spoilers. <laughs> um, I've had a few really big things spoiled for me the last couple of patches, and it's, um, like, it's just, it's a dick move, you know? It's like coming out of a cinema to the, the lineup that's about to go in and telling everyone the big twist of the movie. It's just, it's not very nice. <clears throat> this one is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have to use cooldowns. Cause ow. Cause ow. help so much sometimes. Lord. Through the trigger even trailer free on movies I know I'll watch because I want to know as little as possible the plot as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
future of Azeroth needs you to protect- 50! What did I say? That was 43 out of 50. 50s. 11th today. Whew! This has been a time, hey! It's an 11, thank you, Matt. Uh, Mrs. Helix and I wait until we're in the car after the movie. Don't want to accidentally spoil things. Absolutely! I think that's a super respectful thing to do. I abuse my escape key when I jump onto the PTR to test things. And then your favorite is to mess around and give myself all the honor. Yes. Uh, we left the cinemas with tears streaming down our faces for something. That would have been telling. Yeah. Yup. Take care of yourself out there. Will do, Krimi. Just let me do the thing, please. Just reset us. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, need to get on to the next tune. <clears throat> the gnome? No, this is the original. Oh, and Chromie? Yeah, Chromie's another gnome. Gotcha. Well, technically, Chromie's a dragon. Technically. Druid! Ooh, actually happy out of opportunity line side. Brilliant! We had other things to use, baby tune on! That's okay, it will always be there for the memories. For the memories. Two alliance tunes to go. 99.00% complete. For my 50-50s. 99%. The Dragonflight disguise is a gnome for reasons. Because she can. Because she can. 99.00% complete. Holy mother of fuck. Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, gnome extreme. Oh good lord. What happened to Zib? Not sure. Not really my place. Um, change your friend on MCU and such. We don't mind spoilers. We often end up discussing films. Reminded me I'd called something happening many, many years ago. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome, Nutty. Oh, Chrono Moo is quirky, quirky. Makes for her to be a gnome. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Where is the druid going? Oh, really? I have to go straight back into Shadow Powder Place? I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to do this. God damn it. Ugh. Uh, main cinema here has a different exit at the entrance. Saves in that regard. Oh, nice! YouTube reaction video is the worst. Yeah, look. Um, there's the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, here we go. Gnome Extreme. Activate. Let's put that timer on. Oh, I just think of the lovely rocket. I know, I know. But, like, this particular quest just irks me because everything hurts a lot. And, um, nothing drops the shadow. Not enough of the shadow powder stuff drops. Uh, Druid, now did you get the Gnome to 50 then? I did, yes. So, wait for PC? Yep, I did. Done and dusted. Next character. I'm 43 now. This is tune number 44. Yes, thank you. Number four. Oh my god, your voice is strange. What's wrong with your voice? Yeah. Something wrong with your microphone? Um, I think you've answered this a ton of times now, but which classes do you feel level fastest for you? Um, I don't look, I don't think I've loved, I've answered it like tons and tons and tons of times. Um uh, Druid? Uh, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter absolutely. Um. Uh, what else? DKs to an extent, Paladins to an extent. Basically anything that doesn't take too big a hit 
and can kill things fast is kind of like hunters and warlocks are pretty good too just because they you don't have to heal them very much like mages are pretty squishy you have to kind of sit and eat after every second ball rogues die so good to have big rogues are hella like my rogues that i've leveled have been squishier than my mages i don't understand how like i just don't get that rogues are shit <laughs> um but yeah it's um i think that's probably yeah what boils down to how much my plot trailer was yeah would empire be as good as you into the movie knowing it was a little bit yeah oh boy god indeed indeed Alas, the timer is up. So there we go. <laughs> every time, dupe. Every time. Um, it's I have a blue microphones Yeti X World of Warcraft edition microphone. Thanks to Blue Microphones, they gifted it to me, which is just absolutely fucking incredible. Um, and it has because it's the World of Warcraft edition. All the Yeti X mics come with uh, if you install the G Hub, they come with like voice effects, voice modulation. Um, but the WoW, the WoW version of it, the WoW edition, comes with a bunch of extra ones that are designed after, um, creatures or, or races or whatever in the game. Uh, so the particular one I was using there is called Gnome Extreme. So it's like gnome, so it's a little high-pitched and a little squished and stuff, but like, more so. Because there's also gnome and then gnome extreme, so yeah. Uh, we have a redemption for channel points that can be triggered once an hour. Uh, so you can you can choose it has like a one hour cooldown on it. You can choose a voice from the list of voices. Thank you very much, Dupe, for sharing the list of voices uh, with the command there in chat. And um, yeah, and I'll stick it on for a couple minutes. And inevitably, every single time I do it, every single time we get someone new who pops in and goes, "Is there something wrong with my headset, or is there something wrong with your mic?" Every time. <laughs> so it's really funny. Um, yeah. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, Debo, and welcome on in. I feel like rogue leveling kind of eases me. Invasion of Blood Vile has been a minute since I leveled a small rogue. Yeah, look, Blood Vile just wasn't enough sometimes. I literally had to pull one thing at a time. And if it was a mob that even, like a named mob, would be exceptionally difficult. Like it was just, something was, something felt wrong, you know, something was not quite right. Um, but that's okay. Um, all my rogues are 50 now. Or 50 plus. So, um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, sounded so strange. Uh, is there a lot voice? There's not, but Fungal Giant is close enough. Uh, Fear prefers Paladins. No. Wrong. Incorrect. Um, he didn't she, uh, I know it's finished, I know the battle's done, but I'm halfway through combat. I feel like I'm gonna die if I if I alt tap. Actually, no I'm not. I'm gonna leave that. It'll auto attack. Okay, good. Is there a survivor's voice? No, it's not it's not like it doesn't make you sound exactly like the characters, it's just voice modulation. So it can affect your pitch, it can affect the echo, like it, it's stuff like that. It's not it's not a magic voice converter. Like it doesn't that's not how the tech works. Uh little Draz K pointy Fiend, uh Dunno and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. But if you type exclamation voice in chat. You'll see a list of everything that it can convert to, like the, everything that it can it can do with the effects. Oh, it's boss time! Another boss kill. Boss time! I'm gonna plonk down my flag bearer. Ah, uh, there was a Pauline Hanson one, but I think there was not a Pauline Hanson one. What? What are you talking about? It wasn't marketed to her, but Sanderson. I'm very confused. I do not remember that at all. That's so strange. <laughs> yeah, 
This little area of quests just feels like it takes so long for the amount of experience it gives you. <sighs> I don't like it much. <clears throat> the face sealers feel like they have too much health. Oh, the Dark Ranger voice mod. Mm. Oh, well, those are the ones that they have available. Uh, so, yeah, once the cooldown is up in like an hour, you're more than welcome to pop one in if you've got the points. And if if dupe doesn't beat you to it. That works. Stretch. Alright, I can do that. Oh, I'm starting to fall asleep again. I did okay. About eight o'clock, I hit eight o'clock. Eight hours in, I hit a wall, and now we're at twenty to ten, and I'm I'm hitting another wall. Still got a couple of hours to go. We'll push through. We can do this. Maybe. <sighs> we can do this. Maybe. And the pasta check. <laughs> Sake, it always does this. Oh, he didn't feel like that. How dare I know, right? How dare? How dare? Did you choose to you know it's from a bottle, right? Yeah, you, you know it's from a bottle. Hey, you penguin. How are you going? Oh my god, next month is gonna just completely destroy me. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I just need to like get rest between now and then. Like, actual rest. This fear of ginger. Oh dear. Uh, so Saturday morning here in Portugal and you, what's destroying? Um, oh, I'm just, I'm really tired. And now I'm thinking about how it's gonna be. Like, February is very, very full on for me. It's gonna be exceptionally busy. So I'm uh, getting a little bit nervous about it all. That's all. Too tired, oh lord, yes. Always. Actually, maybe if I turn the air on. Like, the cold will wake me up a bit. Could work. Where are we at? 26%. When we go to the dig pit. Okay, next 
after this. <laughs> Radiance, that's the heal. Something smells interesting. It smells a bit like burning. check out what's going on because something smells like it's on fire. It's okay. There was some, ugh, apparently some stuff on the pan that did a bit of a sizzle sizzle, but everything is fine. I feel so bad if Jess was actually on fire. No, no, he wasn't. Um, it was just that the, the smell of the smoke was carrying through more than the smell of the cooking stuff. We're having pork chops for dinner. Jess burning things again, indeed. Indeed. I'm fucking sitting on my pants, funny. You ah. are not prepared. Hybrid, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you? How is your stream? Hope you're having a wonderful day. That's one way to wake yourself up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Everything was fine. Just a little bit of um, burny stuff with the, the hot pan. Um, and I could smell the burning, but I couldn't smell the cooking. Um, but no, it's, uh, when I got out into the kitchen, all I could smell is food. So that's, it's, it's all good. Um, having pork chops for dinner. So that's something to look forward to. Whew. So this is where the last tune hit 50. Uh, and clearly I'm not, I'm not there yet. That's fine. Oh my god, just hit it for god's sake. There we go. Um, but we are at 39%. Which is pretty shit. <laughs> but that's 
okay. It'd be fine. It'll be fine. Mm. Hello, Raider. Is enjoying the stream? Everyone, oh shit, hybrid. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, rest up. Take care of yourself. Ah, at caster. Oh no. Look, Shiba, I too am exhausted. It's fine. We can stream. Thank you, hybrid. I will. Much appreciated. Rest up. Take care of yourself. Another 50 when I went off to get dinner. Um, yeah, I think so. The mage? Yeah, I'm on 43. I'm up to 43 now. 11 today. So I'm on the druid now. Uh, listen, I'm tired. I also am. Should be going to bed. Rest well. Rest well. We see you tomorrow. Uh, sometimes, of course. Good night. Uh, work. So yeah, busy Saturday evening. Yeah, not a problem. I uh, hope you had a wonderful time at work. Treated you kindly. All that shit. Oh my god. Fucking. Yeah. All the while, I could have just hit this one here. finishing. I don't doubt that at all. So finish early enough to get a shot. Fantastic. Wonderful. Druid, yes. KT bombs at least. Yeah, it is. It's my cool Tyrion Druid. Uh, Kaine. Yum. Japanese curry sauce is the bestest. Golden curry is amazing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm uh, starting to really, uh, starting to really get there. My hero is a zombie. Look, I am approaching zombification. Not gonna lie. Um. I 
I genuinely thought the like excitement and adrenaline of getting all these 50s was just going to be incredible and amazing. And then I got approximately less than two hours sleep last night. So, so like, you know, fuck me, I guess. It was just a really bad time for that particular night of sleep to happen. Everybody's crying on the other day. The really pretty cat series of me craving it. Oh, it was so good. It was so, so good. Like, holy shit. And like, yes, the fucking presentation. The presentation was incredible. <clears throat> this curse has not broken me yet since I was gathered. A dark wind is blowing. Fail Turok we go. Uh, 55%. 55% of the way. Through 49. We're on our way. Do not believe your eyes. Ah, hello. I will see you again. Pretty sure I've had a couple of a couple of tunes ding there. Long ago, <clears throat> a blood name. <clears throat> Eager for the glory of battle, the young chieftain had hoped to incite a war with the Arakoa. But the Talon King came alone. What ensued was not a war, <clears throat> it was a slaughter. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really hoping that tonight I can, um, really sort of rest. Because <laughs> I need it. <clears throat> Maybe get like a really big hug from Jas and just like lie down and like with a sweep of his wings he cut down even the stick something feel good from Netflix on one of my screens rotate it so I can watch it from in bed and just let myself pass out that sounds like a really good plan honestly <laughs> you have stream tomorrow oh fuck yeah I need to. Re well, I not only do I have a stream tomorrow, but I have a photo shoot tomorrow morning. I have a photo shoot before stream. Satisfied. Then stream in the afternoon. The Talon King left the blood. So I have to be up bright and early. Pieces of their brain. <laughs> this whole weekend is just fucked. It's practice for fucked up February. There you go. Yeah, F indeed. I think you guys are really gonna like this product though. Like, um, they, they sent me, Let me tell you pretty much their whole fucking collection, which I'm just, ah, uh, I'm stoked about because they're so good and so comfortable. Holy mother of fuck. They're just so nice. So nice. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like you guys are really this gonna like it. Has not broken me yet. But, um, we'll see. We'll see. A dark <clears throat> wind is blowing.
shadows gather. Ah, <clears throat> oh, yes, I'm gonna druid. I can do this without dismounting. Fuck yeah! Favorite part about druids, these kind of quests. Like, look at me go. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Okay, we have now hit Delirious Fear. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, did you tell us what that big secret was that seemed almost too good to be true, or is that still hush hush? Depends on which one you're talking about. I have told you everything I'm able to tell you at this point. I, I am keeping... There are three things. There are three things that I know that I haven't told you about. One which I'm waiting on information for. A second which is exceptionally early stages which I'm waiting on information for. And one that involves a photo shoot tomorrow morning. As far as I'm aware, that's all I'm keeping from you. <clears throat> Delirious fear is hilarious. It can be. The face when you have too many big secrets, you don't know which one they're talking about. Correct. <laughs> yeah, correct. Exactly right. Um, I think that's everything. Let me just check my emails. <laughs> one moment, please. Um... <clears throat> no, I need the other account. One, two, yeah, and then the, and the other one, yeah, no, it's just those three. <clears throat> Mm, I was thinking there was only one yay for you. Yep. Yeah, there's one that's been, there's one that I've been kind of sitting on since last year. Um. Which is the one that I'm, like, I've been doing a lot of work on and stuff, but I'm just waiting back to, to hear some stuff. Um. And then there's the one that I got the email on Wednesday. Ah! Bubble, Bubble tea! tea. Thank you. Yes, empathy. I'm not having another one. I've had a liter and a half of water today. I think that's enough. My body's gonna freak out that I'm actually hydrating it for once. No difference. Why are you poking me? <laughs> Hydration shows what? in the skin. Not like that it does. Just stop <laughs> it! Fucking no. It's really tasty, thank you. Your face was so hot. <laughs> okay, but <clears throat> bye. Bye. Enjoy. I will enjoy. Um, yeah, so there's there's the thing that I've been sitting on since last year. Um, there's the the thing I got was emailed about during Chef Squad that I looked really, really confused about and ran off to show Jazz. Um, and I've emailed them back and been like, uh, what? Um, <laughs> and then, then, yeah, there's the, the photo shoot tomorrow, which is a fairly recent thing. Um, but that'll be, that's done and dusted. That's like contract signed, product received. Um, I just need to fulfill my side of the bargain now, um, which involves a photo shoot. <clears throat> um... Uh, Wednesday one is one thing to help. Ah, right. Yeah, hydrate's not available because I've literally had a liter and a half of water today, and that's like a lot more than I usually end up having, and I don't want to like make my body sick with too much water. I know that's not very hydrated. I'm aware of that, but like even with normal hydration, if you rush into normal hydration suddenly, it can do some really wonky shit. So I just don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> chef Squad! Yep, exactly. Oh, it's got nothing to do with the Chef Squad soundtrack, as lovely as that would be. 
Um, but yeah, no, the Wednesday one was really, really odd. I I don't like I've had I've done some really hard thinking about it because it's a it's a contentious one. Like it could be. It could be huge. I'm trying to think of how to word this, but it could it could be huge, like incredibly huge. But it could also be not at all. And if it's if it's not, it's not just like, oh well, that was a flop. It could actually cause damage if it flops. Um, like damage to my career and my brand and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like it's a really sort of mm, I gotta really think real fucking hard about this one. Um, but uh, I've had extensive conversations with uh the head mods in the the boss mods channel that you guys can't see in discord um like i've had really really long talks with them about it we, we kind of put together a list of concerns and questions and and i sent back an email and been like hey can has info please um because it's mm, i'm i'm really curious about it but it's risky it's risky. I get it. You can still get sort of overhydrated. Yeah, exactly. Thor. Thank you for understanding. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm back for the last two hours. Drunk people are now home. I have two hours to level 248 to 50. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, you might level a lot faster than I do, but that's, um, that's very fast. I would be very impressed with you. Very, very impressed with you. How are your numbers? How many 50s so far today? Uh, 12? 11. 11? Uh, I have 7 left, so I've done 43, so I've done 11. I've done 11, this will be number 12. That's so good, yeah, I know, right? Granted, one of them had literally 209 experience remaining. So, yep. Literally, like, took a flat path, turned in a quest, and ding. It was really funny. We loved that. <clears throat> you serious? How did you leave them at that? Because I didn't want to ding off stream. I wanted to hit 50 on all of them live on stream, so, every, like, people could be there for every single one. Temptation would have been too much. No, not at all. Not at all. It was frustrating me because I couldn't log onto the tune to do anything because I was too afraid that I'd accidentally get experience. You just give it a grand. Dang! Yeah, exactly. Literally. Oops. What's wrong, dude? Such a little bit. Oh, Nagrand. Yeah, ding. Oops. Gotcha. Nagrand is gorgeous, though. Agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> it's kind of a pity that all of them are ending in spires. Like, all my tunes are dinging in spires. How much I like that one. Shadows gather. Tempted to buy an Easter egg. This early though? You are not ah. prepared. Hickons, hello, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're having a lovely day. How was your stream? Welcome Raiders indeed. There, there are like um, uh, hot cross buns like everywhere already. And I'm like, guys, it's January. What are you doing? Although I'm also not complaining because I fucking love hot cross buns. Not too bad. How's your weekend going? Yeah, not too bad. 
Not too badly. Um, lots of leveling. Not much sleep. Um, I slept like shit last night. So I'm hoping that tonight I can get some decent rest because I'm borderline dying at this point. <clears throat> oh, hang on. I think I can turn these in. sit here because I don't think if I if I discover it, if I explore I think I'm gonna ding. <laughs> um local shop sells them all year round now. Oh nice Add a loop why buy an Easter egg just hard boil a few and drop them in paints no chocolate eggs oh, where are you? It's gonna to get Una the children's week blood elf orphan they hit in the fields oh absolutely agreed agreed because I'm totally fine. Totally okay for. It happens. <clears throat> so, so he's trying to. I um. Dupe is trying to set up a, a thing where they can trigger a sound command. Trying to set up a joke. <laughs> I have learned. I've learned, Dupe. See what you're doing. Hangs in a gym. No. You ah! are not prepared. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? Hope you've had a lovely day. Oh, sun well. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub, Jas. At tier three. My goodness. I'm sure I'm you, but it does well raiding. That's hilarious. Welcome, raiders, indeed. Um, can I get a cast to come on for Hikons and for Keggy? Jess, while you're here. Thank you! Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Neke, Bjorn, Faden, Vyu, Cheerful Zem, BQ, Draz, and Gruben on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Alright, new map. Good. Alright. Um... Tokens. We can go tokens and then skin. So we'll do that for you guys. Uh, <laughs> little emotes bouncing across the screen is super cute. Very happy I figured out how to fucking set that up. <laughs> Flag bearer! Um. <clears throat> Let me confer with my sources. Mm. No. Oh my god. Thank you very much for that, Jess. I appreciate it. Yay for the bonus shits! Alright. Here we go. Let's collect a scuffed bangle. Miss Axel coming to the raid. I made sure it doesn't let me having anything good. Yes, the back Oh no, but hello, Keggy. I said, how was your stream? I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I thanked you profusely for the raid. <laughs> no. Mm, just welcome to Afnick. Send the love back. I know. I know. I'm not usually streaming this time of day, am I? Or on a Saturday. That's a go, though. Marathon stream. Having the funsiest. <clears throat> it's falling across the screen, indeed. Random arms and legs just everywhere. Brilliant. <clears throat> Good lord. <clears throat> I think killing this might actually give me my ding. I'm really close. Ah, 
520. Oh my god. I'm 371 XP away. <clears throat> One of these kills is bound to do it. The future of there we go. Needs you to protect it, hero. Shit, how many is that? So that's 44. Forty-four out of fifty fifties, and that's my twelfth today. <laughs> Wonderful. And now we wait. Ninety-nine point one five. That's pretty fucking spectacular. It's a lot of fifties. I know it. Uh, I'm just gonna switch the out of it. Yes, Chris, another fifty. Thank you. Chris on twelve. Thank you, Matt. It is a lot of fifties. I'm getting there. I'm almost done. It's ridiculous. What the fuck? <clears throat> I'm having fun though. This is good. This is good. Whew. All right. Garrison half go. And then we'll jump on the final alliance tune. Jesus. Good lord. That is having fun. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Last one. Bottom of the list. Crack on with the Horde ones. I honestly thought I'd be finishing the last Alliance tune as the the um, thing wrapped up, but I seem to be getting a little bit speedier at them. Either that, or they're in better places in the zone where the the uh, XP because it like the XP comes really quickly and then it sort of spaces out for a bit and then quickly and it's like it's just it's really interesting. The patterns are weird. Um, yeah. Twenty five LA, twenty five Horde. Nope. Uh, Thirty Horde, twenty Alliance. Um, and it's because I have Horde on one server and Alliance on another server, and the 10 instances per hour lockout is server-based, not account-based. So I can do 30 Horde, lock myself out of instances. Sorry, I do 10 Horde, lock out of instances. Switch and do 10 Alliance, lock out of instances. Jump back to Horde, which by this point have unlocked. Do the 10, lock out of instances, back to Alliance, lock out of instances, and then back and do the final 10 horde. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and never have to actually stop and wait for my saved instances to reset. Oh, wow, shit, this one's still in Talador. Good lord. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, Mogren. <clears throat> lockout always was strange to me. It's good you have a look at uh, a workaround. Yeah, when once I realized it was server based, not uh, uh, not account based, it just made everything a lot easier. Would you plan to leave two tunes, list lovers in the area for creepy time, mount farming, or did you get those mounts? There's only one mount, and uh, like, no, nah, it's fine. Um, I'll just, I'll just not. It's fine. Um, it's the void talent of the dark star, uh, and they do spawn on like the portals do spawn with Chromie time off as well. Uh, it just, like, yeah, I, I can't be asked. Like, I have not got time between now and Lovers in the Air to sit here and wait for a ping on the on the server to say that there's a portal up that I can go chase. Um, so I'm just, that's okay. I'll just have to ignore the pings that are for Chromie time on. That's all. I'll still eventually get it. It'll just mean I can't respond to every single ping that they post. <clears throat> Knowledge. When you are ready, we will follow you into Shatra. I guess it's fun that the last one I'm doing isn't inspires. <laughs> the portal thing is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm in the um the secret finding Discord, and there are a handful of people in there who are really, really, really good at camping for them and sp and like checking for the spawns and stuff. And so like e almost every week, you'll see like. They'll go and do their rounds and they'll find some and they'll post them in there for people to come get. 
and it's a race, you know, first there gets the portal. Um, so yeah, eventually I'll get myself a portal, but it's, um, it's just not a super high priority right now, and other things are, like having my army leveled, because I don't, I don't have time. There's not going to be any time between now and Lovers in the Air off stream for me to get those last couple leveled, so. No Drake and Wrath, I never got. Can't remember its name, Timeless Proto Drake. I have a TLPD now, which is nice. Exactly, I'll get it eventually. No biggie. No biggie. I can clear the way to the flagship. Hold <clears> off <throat> these invaders while I finish my spell. Steal yourself. Show them no mercy. Keep your guard up. more time. Hold the line! It is finished. I must rest a moment. The flagship is up ahead. I will join you there once I regain my energy. Draka. Join the Draenei, searching for any survivors. Of course. Forward! This super weapon is on one of these ships! Follow me! So I many new 50s, I'm so happy. So many innocent people. Should check? Innocent. Uh, it is I you I need to get who socks. Oh. Burn. It is you who must be stopped! Yes, I will see Draenor burn. You, traitor, will not. We will hold off Black Ugh. Destroy we that We will find weapon. a way through this. The uh, aircon is definitely keeping me awake, but my toes are cold and hurting, so... <laughs> Let's fix that. Champion, speak with me when you are ready to travel to the energy lab. I wonder what rank in the world I am for levels now. Toes, indeed, so now I have socks on. 270. World 270. Am I actually going to be able to get any higher than that? No. <laughs> no. Oh well. Not until I level them to 60, which, no thank you. Not just yet, at least. <clears throat> Lord, my sinuses are so angry. It's basic, yes, always. Fucking, uh huh. I'd like to not be one day. That'd be really nice. But we'll see. We'll see. Hello, Verified! I hope you enjoyed Keg's stream. He's an awesome human. Well then, I'll just have to end this myself. Did you my dad's stream? <laughs> Take 
your help with black all right let's go i can get you there speak with me when you're ready <clears throat> that's all you can muster weak brother <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell you not to play with fire? Okay. Oh, Talado. This is our moment. Okay, we are now at 21.96% of the way through 49. So, yeah, not to play with fire. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Can I miss playing through one? Totally fair. Hello, Soda. How are you doing? Oh, excuse me. I hate that you can't fly through those. It makes me so irritated. Barkanan <clears throat> Poros. I am listening. The strong spirit will always triumph. It's a heal I have to interrupt, right? <clears throat> yeah, that girl's on cooldown, I think. Dupe used it fairly recently. Come, speak with me. I don't think there's an interrupt here, but it does have that stun, that disorient, whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, that one. We will stand by you, Exarch. No demon will set foot in Akindun on my watch. Or something. I must. Yes, 
said, well, I don't want his mum in front of fantasy. Is it coincidence that both the best characters? Not at all. No coincidence. That's why they're mum and dad. Because of their status as best characters. That's how they earned those titles. <clears throat> what the fuck? Come on. Barrier is too strong for that explosive to break open. I can't find a way to bring it down. Let's do this. What are we at now? Thirty two. Thirty two percent of the way through forty nine. few I have left to do. It's unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Almost done and it's bonkers. remains now. So now we grab the shipments. Flag, the shipments more like. We get maces. Collect their weapons. Yes. Well, I only got one so far. I need another five. Need the XPs. Gimme. Thank you. 
Hey, yum. <sighs> Bubble tea makes everything better. Is it tonight? Honeydew. Honeydew milk tea with tapioca pills. So good. So good. <clears throat> Very often, but it's great when I do. Of course. Understandable. But yeah, it is, it is so tasty. So delicious. Aloe vera toppings, yeah! Aloe vera jelly is really, really good. They did have aloe vera jelly on the Bubble Tea Club website in the beginning, but it was like always out of stock. I think they just had issues with their supplier, so they ended up just being like, nah, fuck this sort of thing. <laughs> She's on her spirit class. Oh. Finally, someone finally noticed I was on a paladin. Uh, no cooking, I was ready today. No. It was like, a, yeah, we don't, we don't usually play that. It was the first time we've played it. We don't, we don't play it all the time. It's <laughs> uh, fair, yeah. It is, it is definitely sad because I quite like aloe vera jelly as well. Like it's super interesting texture. You wish to see the power of the empire firsthand? Oh, for challenging me, so be it. I can use some entertainment. I was trying not to be toxic. I mentioned something lightly toxic earlier. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, good. Face the power of the Empire. See, see there? Mm hmm sure. They're pretty easy to level. They like they have self-healing, they can take a decent number of hits, and they also uh, put a fair bit of damage while they're leveling, so it's they're a pretty easy class to level, I reckon. In my opinion. The light, what a battle! Uh, right, so we're at 59% now after that little pocket of stuff. Holy fire, right? So, still a fire class and it's magic, so basically a fire mage. Look, we have had this discussion. Or did Jar travel? Have you any news? Right, discover the Zangara flight path. <clears throat> Back hurts. I need a massage. I need to book it in. Just get it done. Hello, safe travels. Oh, let's burn too, so I agree on this. <laughs> Look, 
Look. Halfway to 50 already. Dungeons Lamau, but handicapped because Puppy missed me and I'm playing one headed. Oh no! Bad girl just wants you to straighten up and fly right. You guys remember the quest where you had to get like 5,792 Apexis crystals? Not one lower or one higher, precisely this. I've did, I trust me, I've done the calculations, and then you turn it in and it gives you everything but one back. Ah. Uh. Fucking asshole. It was so good. It was it was very, very well written, but like fuck you, Dako. Oh my god. <laughs> Best troll ever. It was it was very well done. A very, very well done troll. <clears throat> I do I do like Hadgar's writing. It's like he, he, like, it's always in character. They always do a really good job of writing him as he would be. Do you know, you know what I mean? They're very consistent with his writing. Make sure you weren't wasting your apexes on bad things. Like, what, mounts? Like, good god. Yo, come on. Type in the newer X packs. Hmm. Yeah, Bolvar's a little too serious to be like a, a dad girl. <laughs> Theatar, though. I don't know how many of y'all have entered, but Theatar is just. Oh god, he's so good. Not necessarily a dad girl, but like, he's just such a good character. I love Theatar. I, I genuinely adore him. Ah, oh, he's the reason why. What is one of my favorite expansions? He was pretty good in Legion too. Oh, fuck, everything's just okay. Look, do the do the battle, and I will try to kill the ship. And then there, and I agree. Yeah, Theotar is like, ah, oh, he's just next level. He's awesome. <clears throat> Legion is number one on my list of X packs. Totally fair. Understandable. These maps are a little bit ridiculous. back and do a quest thing they're like let's queue together yay for instance yay uh, i said here before walking through the dark portal for the first time with my guild forming an honor guard was so amazing yep that cut yeah look that would have been a pretty special experience 
That's just me. Should have lost the lands, yep. But can't we just defeat the enemies? Like, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Congratulations to Neke, Faden, Rigel, Fairy, Draz, Little, BQ, Wanda, and Spam on all of your bonus shit. Need you to let you destroy walls or something. You'd think that artillery would be able to like blow a hole in the walls. That'd be really cool. But I don't think they can. I think they'd have to be units to be able to do that, and then they'd count as enemies, which means that I you'd need to wait for your artillery to destroy all of the walls. Like it's I have a feeling the coding for the game isn't like super, super, super complicated or anything. But, um, yeah, look, it's okay. I mean, I'm sure the coding is complicated, but the actual like battle mechanics coding isn't too complicated, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Not trying to shit on the devs at all. They've done a phenomenal job. I love the game. It's so cute and so much fun. <laughs> ah, the self destruct bombs too. That'd be cool. More time to listen to the tune! Absolutely. Each day. Absolutely. Well, we're certainly getting closer to 50. Closer to the magic number. All the quests in my log add up to 50 now. This little bar here, when it's dark purple, it means rested. And when it's that lighter purple, it's because it's dark purple with like white layered over the top of it. And the white bar shows how much experience I have in my quest log which is super handy. And then the blue is how much I already have. <clears throat> so the fact that the white bar reaches all the way to the top of the bar means that if I turned in, if I had completed and turned in every single quest in my log right now, I'd hit 50. But I haven't completed all of them yet, so you do with that. Good way of tracking it. Yeah, it's really cool. Super funky. <clears throat> May the light embrace. You're going after it? Suit yourself. I'm getting out of here. Also, XP from everything you kill along the way to consider exactly, which means I'm going to be well and truly 50 by the time I turn half of these in. I only need to kill three more of those big birdies, and then I can go turn everything in, though. Because everything else is completed, except for Ancient Prism Examined, but I'll get there. That's how we get to the quest hub to turn the rest of them in. <clears throat> These, like, later ones, I'm getting them done a lot faster than I thought I was going to. I don't know if I'm just picking up pace, like, if I'm getting better or less distracted or what, but, like... It's going a lot faster than I thought it would. I was expecting for this one to hit 50, like just after I meant to finish. And here we are with more than an hour to go and it's about to hit 50. So like, okay, sure. Strats. Ah, uh, sure. I'll take it. <laughs> Certainly not a pro leveler, but I'm enjoying myself, and that's the part that matters. <clears throat> Practice makes perfect. Practice makes better. I don't think I'll ever be perfect. I don't think I want to be perfect, though. The oopsies are what make for good clips. So, this Hello, Jay. After. Welcome Thank you back. For clearing the way. 
Greetings, friend. That's quite enough of this illusion. <sighs> Ah, much better. Destroy that wretched prism. We cannot risk it falling into their hands. Now, just relax. You and I are going to have a chat. Oh, yeah, no worries. All good. Forgive my deception. I had to appeal to your sympathy in order to play you against Kyrex. I have expected him to vaporize you, but you dispatched him. Why do I turn all these in? An impressive display. Fuck picking up all these quests. Um, I'm gonna go turn these quests in because I'm done. Truly piqued my interest. Your desire to reveal the truth behind the attack. I can just turn these in and I'm finished. So let's do that. Seeking answers in the dark. I am Iskar, and now that you have become acquainted with the, the Arakoa, I wonder if you might aid me in How many is that? Them. Um, so I had 44, so this is 45, because I've only got 5 left after this one. So, 45, 45 out of 50, 50s. 13th today. <clears throat> Perfection. Your food, enjoy. Enjoy for that. Congrats, thank you. So, yeah, that's 13. So close to 50 50s. 45 out of 50. Mark and Jesus. And that's all the Alliance tunes done. 99.29. Five to go. Take care of yourself out there. Five to go. How are you? The last five done. Twenty minutes. No wait. That's not. That's not math. What would it be? Like eleven minutes per turn? No, I, I think that's a little too quick. I don't think I've got that in me. None of them are that close. They're all like bang on forty-nine. I don't think they're close enough to 50 to get it all done. When was the day you set to come by? Feb 6. I'm two weeks ahead. Tomorrow will be two weeks until deadline. So we're going to change what we're going to do tomorrow. St uh, the, the theme of stream tomorrow will be 50 50s. Um, <laughs> so instead of doing transmog hunting, I'm going to finish them off. I'm going to finish off the whole set. I'm going to have 50 50s tomorrow. Uh, and then with whatever time I have left, we'll farm some, some transmog. Uh, okay. So, where are we? 60, 60, 60, 51, 52, 60, 51, 51, 51, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 49. Guess. Fear 50s can't wait. Mm, the last, the last of Fear's 50s. <laughs> Fucking last of Fierce 50s. This is. I can't. Like, good lord. 99.29. Ah. Oh, shit. Add ons. <laughs> Oops. Need those. Yeah, so um, we'll do. I'll, I'll finish off whatever I have left tomorrow and then we'll do transmog once I have the 50 50s. Just because it's amusing. Yeah. <laughs> It is. But yeah, I had that on the, like, when I had full screen cam, I had the emote wall. And I thought, fuck this. I want to put the emote wall on these screens because I know what's going to happen, right? All of the emotes are going to be spammed when the heartbreaker drops. And I think it'd be awesome to have the, the shit flying everywhere. I think that'd be really good. I hoped I would beat you to 50 50. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Still quite a way off. That's okay. I am I am incredibly driven. Incredibly driven when it comes to these kind of things. So don't like don't feel bad. What are you gonna do with yourself when you don't have to level anything? Uh sleep. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I'm gonna fucking sleep. Uh no, I I wanna like I've got so much on my to-do list. It's the, it, no rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. When the heartbreak drops, fucking oath. Put it out into the universe, then. 
positivity, manifest destiny, all that bullshit. Sleep Mountain Transmog Farm? Yeah, really enjoy small friendly competition. I agree. I agree. Um, it's been kind of like, not so much competition, but like when I put my spreadsheet up and people kind of grabbed that and repurposed it for their own like challenges and stuff like that, that felt really cool because some people could, we could compare like percentages done and stuff. Not necessarily in a look, I'm just ahead of you or I'm beating you or not, not in that necessarily, in not that, not in that way necessarily, but like, just like, oh, I finally hit this milestone. It's like, yay, that's awesome. Uh, rather than being like, rather than comparing more just like sharing progress, I guess. I don't know. It's been kind of nice. <laughs> It's been kind of nice. This curse has <clears throat> not broken me. Yeah, I have. I have so many like to do things on my on my list. Um, outside of the game, but it'll be good to focus on some of them instead. Fifty grand garrisons going. Well, they're almost already done. Um, there's a couple of them that still need like a follower or two to slot into buildings. But apart from that, they've all got all the buildings built. Everything's ready to go. Um, my reset, I do my garrison reset every Wednesday. So this Wednesday, I'll probably stock them all up and start them going. Without the sky. It's gonna ne I'm gonna need like a shitload more mats, but uh... Let's see how we go. <clears throat> You're doing herb garden and cards. I'm not even doing the herb garden. Um, I've been buying herbs off the auction house. Um, but now that I have 30 and 20, I'm not certain there's going to be enough on the auction house as cheap as I need it. So we'll see. Uh, I might have to kick in and do a couple of the herb gardens, even if I only do them for one or two days on every turn. Like if I pick, if I if I've got a day where I'm like, hey, I'm not that busy today. Or I've done everything on my to-do list and I've got an hour before stream, let's jump on and see how many- or an hour before I have to do my makeup for stream. Let's jump on and see how many herb gardens I can get done. Uh, just to kind of stock up on stuff, but we'll see. We will see. <clears throat> uh, I leveled all my lines to use 50, couldn't force myself to level the horde ones, don't have a quite 50-50s, yeah, totally fair. Uh, I can always do the trade garrison resources for some. Yep, and I have been, um, but I don't do it um, every day. I only do it when the herbs are going for 16 resources a pop. Because that's the lowest. Um, that's the lowest it ever gets. So I kind of, I'll check on, and it's the same across everyone. Like, it's a region-wide price. So if I check on my first tune of the day, if it's 16, I drop everything I've got on every single tune into it. Um, if it's not 16, then I don't bother checking on any other character. Um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, Definitely something I do, but only when it's at its cheapest. <clears throat> something I'm not looking forward to is farming 20 mop coins for world bosses in 50 tunes. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm just, it's not worth the time. Like the, the time it would take me to farm that many across all those tunes. I like, I don't, I don't have that kind of time. And it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it for me. Like, I think, I think 50 attempts a week is fine. I don't need to make it 100. <laughs> like, nah. Uh, is it random or is it set rotation? Ah, uh, random, unfortunately. But about no worries, Helix, not a problem at all. Have a wonderful rest and we'll see you next time, hey? Enjoy the rest of the stream always. Absolutely. Rest well. actually making with garrisons to make money 
Uh, you get the cerulean pigment from the herbs, like milling the herbs. You use that, it, there's a daily cooldown as well as the garret, the inscription building to make uh, war paints, and then you make card of omens, and then you flip them, and then you vendor them. On average, it works out, like when you go through the whole process, on average, it works out to be one herb per one card. Um, so if you buy the herbs for one gold each and they flip for an average of four gold 76, sometimes they flip for a copper or two, sometimes they flip for a handful of silver, sometimes they flip for 6,000 gold. Um, so on average, the cards are worth four gold 76 silver a pop. So if you're buying a herb for one gold, and then you're selling the card to a vendor for 476. You're making on average three gold 76 silver per uh, per herb. <clears throat> for very, very, very limited uh, involvement. You, I literally log in, click my, I've got my daily cooldowns, like my daily crafts on my bars. I log in, I click, and then I have a log out button right next to it. Log in, click, cast, click, log out. Log into the next one, click, cast, yeah, click, log out. Together. Super fast. A dark wind <clears throat> is blowing. Ah, oh, to be fair, I'm communing with a friend regarding mounts. He has just every mount except mock war bosses. It's my only chance to get ahead. Totally fair, but I mean, it's going to take you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to farm up those coins. Is it, honest God, worth that? Because I, I, I don't know about you, but like, there are so many other things in my life that take higher priority than getting a, a mount in WoW. Um, but, of course, each their own. Just, you know, is it actually worth it? Um, yes, Garrison, that's exactly it. So that guide there is what I use. I don't do the, the wolves and the bags and all that kind of stuff anymore because the wolves just aren't, as, no, they're not nearly as profitable anymore. Uh, and the bags don't sell for very much on my server. Uh, servers, plural. Um, you know, Rose says, yeah, mine sell for 500 to 700 gold a pop, and mine sell for about 120 gold. So it's it's just not worth it. The profit's simply not there. So I don't do that stuff anymore, but I do just do the inscription shit. Hey, Avail, how you doing? Give me just a minute. Uh, like 1200 cars of the made about 12k but the other day that's nice oh awesome yeah if you've got the card flipping out on you can type slash flip and get like a history of all the cards you've ever flipped and the average value of them for you personally it's kind of fun uh, any new level 50s I've got 45 total 50 plus characters now so I'm not sure how many I had the last time you were here don't forget to report oh I have <laughs> I have, well and truly. Do not you worry. Report yeah, right before you jumped in, Vale, there was a, a spam bot that came in trying to convince me to buy followers, primes, and viewers. Cause that's definitely not against Twitch Toss. It's a lie, it's absolutely against Twitch Toss. Do not do it if you want to actually grow. <clears throat> so yeah, I banned them and then I reported them. Classic. Oh yeah, it's the exact same copy-paste message we get, like, almost every stream these days. I must have hit that bracket of viewership that they target. I don't know, but it, it's just so frequently, like, so frequent these days. Um, and yeah, it's, it is, it is, inc like, it's incredibly against Twitch Toss. You will get banned for doing it. Uh, and if you're trying to grow your channel so that you can, like, you know, make an income from it and shit, um, guess, ex guess how much money you'll make from a banned channel. So don't, don't, yeah, it's zero. Zero is how much, for those of you who are listening, you will make zero from a banned channel, so don't do it. 
It's not worth the risk. Oh, so funny when they get banned within seconds. Oh, it's just like, unfortunately the problem is like, they're, so they're not, okay, they're not targeting me. Here's the thing, they're not targeting me. Who they are targeting is the handful of people who are watching, who are uh, streamers who are just starting out or who are sitting in like the single to low double digit viewer range, uh, who are potentially getting a little bit frustrated with their lack of growth. They're not targeting me. They're targeting my viewers. Um, there's a few very good reasons why I have link protection enabled, and this is one of them. So the bot, will, or the, the person who's posting it, will see the link that they've posted, but everybody else, including me, sees three asterisks. Um, and that's, that's what link protection does. It doesn't let them know, it doesn't tell them that their message has been censored, I don't believe, um, but we don't see the link. So no one can click it, no one can see it, no one can go Google it, it just, you can't see it at all. Um, nice to use today, in fact, thank you. Uh, I got on mine also, but I did get an average of five, I guess I'd be more targetable, but yeah, it's a stupid thing to do. Yeah, when, when they're doing it in here, I, I, like, I don't think they're targeting me. I mean, they could be, but I'm pretty sure who they're targeting is, is the, like, smaller streamers, because... Fuck, if you're partnered and you still don't realize that that shit's against Toss, might I recommend you go back and read your fucking partnership contract? Because if you don't abide by that, you will literally lose your income. That's how that works. So maybe protect your business and know what the rules are. <clears throat> oh, that's how you know you succeeded when bots start to target your stream. Good evening, Chud. Doesn't tell you anything about being censored. Yeah. Burning through these tunes. I know, well, they were all, a lot of them. So the first handful for the day was sitting on 48, but now all of these ones are on 49. So I'm just like, 45 out of 50 done. What? How? When? I'm so like, what the fuck? It was map makeup. Which map was it? No one guessed. No one even tried. No one even tried to guess what the map makeup was today. Cue everyone trying to try at 11 hours and 11 minutes in of a 12 hour stream. <laughs> um, thinking channel growth comes as a result of personal growth. Learning what works and what doesn't without that experience, your channel just stagnates or whatever number you bought. Oh, fuck yeah. And it, it, it will, it will like sit at whatever number you bought and then it will fall over. And like, it'll, cause you know, you only buy that for a certain amount of time or whatever. Like, especially if you're buying views, it'll be for a certain amount of time. It would have worked much better back in the day when Twitch sorted the browse pages by viewer numbers. So if you had people with like thousands of viewers and then hundreds of viewers, and then just under that and then lower and then lower and then the, the like smaller streamers, right? So you had to scroll to like the second, third, fourth, sometimes fifth or sixth page on big categories to find people who are in like the, the, the zero to 20 viewer bracket. They're pages and pages and pages down. Um, so the idea with buying views then would be that it would like push you up the page by a couple of pages just by buying like 10 or 15 viewers it'd push you up by pages to make your discoverability easier so that people would find you and then hopefully they would stick around. So by the time the purchased viewers dropped off, you'd be holding that position by yourself. Um, but that's not how it works anymore. Now it sorts by recommended. So it looks at who you've watched, um, who other people who watch that watch, like it's just, it's it's all that data in the background. Um, and that's, that's who it recommends to you now, rather than sorting it by viewer numbers. You can still sort by viewer numbers if you so desire, um, but it defaults to recommended. Um, the other thing that people might buy views for is trying to unlock affiliate. If they've got, if they've, they've told all their friends to follow them and their friends have gone, yeah, okay, and I'll follow you, but I'll never come watch you. Um, so then they, they buy the viewers for a month and then stream their numbers. So to try to get affiliate so that they can start unlocking subs and shit. The problem is if you have no viewers, who the fuck is going to sub to you? You've got to have viewers to have people who will want to sub to you. So by the time the purchased viewers drop off, you back where you started, you just have a button that 
there's no one there to push the button. So it's, you know, it, it still doesn't make sense. Um, plus, again, again, toss, don't do it. Um, it's, yeah, it's just not a good idea. On any level. <laughs> uh, have streamers lost their partner status before? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Um, you know when a ban is permanent. So there's a... There's a Twitter account called, I think it's called Streamer Bans from memory. Um, and basically it tracks when partners get banned and it'll post, um, you know, such and such, and then put in brackets their Twitter handle if they've got one linked has been banned. And then it'll be like streamer bans, Twitch partner bans, and it'll say like first ban, second ban, third ban, etc., to let you know how many times they've been banned. And then it'll have a link to their channel, um, which obviously you can't click. If they have been like, permanently banned with zero appeal available etc etc it'll be very quickly followed by a reply that says such and such streamer has lost their partner status or is no longer partnered um so basically if a partner gets suspended though it's just a standard ban you know you get the email it says this is how long it's for blah 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 um it may even say indefinitely but you can still appeal it and stuff like that if you have been completely banned from the platform for forever, um, like when they had, uh, there have been a couple of people who have like jumped ship to other platforms and they've signed exclusivity contracts with like Mixer or YouTube or whatever. Um, and they've, they've, you know, quit Twitch and they've moved over to this platform for some hella ridiculous amount of money. Um, often Twitch will ban the account and remove their partner status just to kind of like be like, okay, you're leaving. Sure. Chop. Cut off that bridge. Cut off that tether. That's it. You're done now. You can't come back, even if you wanted to. Um, and then they come back and say, hey, can I make account back? And Twitch goes, yeah, okay. Because they make a shitload of money and it's a business and businesses are at profit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it, it has definitely happened. It doesn't usually happen unless it's fucking extreme. Um, it, yeah, it, do it does not happen often. Um, are you leveling up your alts for Mount Farm? Yeah, for Lovers in the Air, specifically. Um, for the Heartbreaker Rocket. Welcome back, Loza. Uh, do we have any more 50s? I'm sitting on 45 of them now. I don't know how many there were when you were here last. So, yes, we're on 45 now. Ah, uh, it's in the Paladin. Look, I have to get them done, alright, Sam. In my defense, I had to leave my house. Totally okay. I'm having too much fun just hanging out. Good! Good. I mean, I don't think you lose partner. I think you just get straight up banned. You can be banned, but still be partnered. Um, and then you can also be banned and lose your partnership. And that usually signifies that it's over. It's permanent. They ain't coming back. Uh, my hand is in pain because of reasons I do not wish to say. Oh. Okay, well, I hope your hand feels better soon then. Uh, in, sh in short, just be legit, dum dum. Yeah, look. Don't don't be a silly. Don't be a nitwit or a numpty. Do the work and have there. some fucking patience, because this shit is not easy. Five and a half years to get partnered. Five and a half years of streaming to get partnered. Fucking be patient. Yeah? Good. Thank you. I know people who have been streaming far longer than I have who aren't partnered. Like... Do not be let entitled. It does not work. You'll just kind of put people off with your attitude. Uh... I should retract the last thing I said up here, then that's okay. That's okay. If you don't know, you don't know. The only reason I know this shit is because I, like, follow it, you know? Uh, makes it- I know, Josh. I know. Uh, do you think it would work as a detergent- deterrent? If Twitch stuck with their decision of banning people, leaving the platform for others? N no. No. What the fuck do you think I would do if Facebook Gaming came to me and said, I will give you, we will give you $3 million to move your channel to our platform and stay here and only stream for us? The fuck would you do? It will not be a deterrent because money is always a better enticer. When it comes, these guys are running a business, just like I am. You know, I keep talking about how this is my job. This is a business that I'm running. I'm self-employed. Um, the same goes for them. They are running a literal fucking business. If a competitor approaches that, it's like being headhunted at any job you ever had. Like if, if you're working at, <laughs> if you're working at McDonald's and you're a manager for Macca's and you're doing a fucking smashing job 
and your McDonald's is like the highest profit in the fucking uh, district or whatever they split them up by or whatever. And the local KFC comes to you and says, hey, we'll offer you $3 an hour more than what you're doing there. And we'll give you an office if you come and do the same, do what you've done for Mac is for us. You jump, you get headhunted, you jump for the better offer. It's the same thing here. This is a literal business they're running. A lot of these top streamers have teams that they employ millions of dollars in a lump sum payment, plus often, you know, like a monthly stipend, a guaranteed payout every month, all this kind of shit. That shit pays for their staff. It pays for all these upgrades. It pays for a shit load of stuff. Like, you'd be stupid not to take it. As long as, of course, you believe in the platform. If, if it's a brand spanking new thing that has, like, no proven track record of anything, you've never even heard of them before, all that kind of shit, then it could be a bit silly. But, like, you, you weigh that up. It's a business decision. You weigh that shit up and, uh, you make your call. And often it's not even your call. It'll be your management's decision. If you're the content creator and you've got a manager who's managing all the business end of stuff for you, maybe they'll run things past you, but like, they've got a business to run. Hmm. <laughs> Just don't be fucking stupid, pretty much. I want to be partner now. I'm the Veruca Salt turning into a blueberry. Yep. Yeah. Cooking lesson of the day. Don't cook gnocchi while Fear is having a good talk. By the time she's done, you'll have mashed potato. Oh, Neke, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> You'd be bored streaming to your two viewers over there, though. That's not how that works. The reason Mixer or Facebook or YouTube pays literally millions is because they know that they're paying a personality who is large enough that they're following will make an account on that platform in order to keep watching them because that's how big they are. So, if they get Ninja, they get Ninja's several million followers, which bulks up their data, it grows their viewer base, which entices more streamers, which entices more viewers, which entices more streamers, which grows their platform, and then they collapse. Uh, <laughs> regardless. But that, that's the idea is that that's an investment in a, in a draw. It's, it's like a... Um, it's like a like a, a fucking clothing company or something um, paying millions and millions and millions of dollars to Beyonce to wear their dress. And then everyone sees the dress on Beyonce and go, who are you wearing? And Beyonce goes, oh, it's this company. And then everyone goes and buys that fucking dress or if they can't afford that dress, something else from the company so that they can wear what Beyonce was wearing. They invest millions of dollars in one person because they know that person will bring fuck tons of sales. That's like, and I, I bet you the millions that they gave Ninja or the other people who have taken similar kind of deals, when you look at the sub revenue, so when, when these viewers follow a person to a different platform and then sub, where does half their sub go or whatever percentage they've negotiated? It goes to that platform and eventually pays off the fee that they paid to the streamer, yep. Bidness! Congratulations to Totty, Wanda, Ride, Fairy, Neke, Zam, View, Thor, and Dunno on all of your bonus shit. Um, this one. Obviously I've never had this happen to me. Obviously there are far more intricacies than what I'm talking about. There is a shitload more like levels and, and people involved in these decisions and considerations to be made and all that kind of like, there is so much about this that not only I assume that I'm not talking about, but also shit that I just won't know because I've never done that kind of thing. I've never been involved in that sort of a decision before, but like it, I can guarantee you it's all business. It's, it's the risk versus reward. We lose this many millions of dollars to bring this person here, but if we pay them 3 million and they bring in 10 million, that's a profit. Yeah, it like, again, much more complicated than that, but you know, simplifying it a whole bunch, that's um, yeah, fun times. 
Um, take the three million approach from my old job to where I am now. Oh, awesome, Kay. That must have felt pretty good as well. Like knowing that you're good. Like there's um the the two emails I was talking about earlier that I can't talk much about. Like when I got them, I was like, e? why me? Like, what have I got? It's kind of a nice feeling to see that someone has sought you out or has found you and has decided that you're valuable enough for them to take the time to reach out to you and offer you a business proposal. Like, it's... Fuck the Instagram bullshit. Hi, ah, we're from such and such. DM our main page to get free shit. No, fuck off. But, like, that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. But those kind of emails, like... I must be doing something, right? You know? Uh, I got one level 50. Yay, Yuri! Fucking love mashed potato. It is delicious, but not when you were intending for gnocchi. The idea was sound. It was. It was. Companies don't spend money just to spend money. Correct. They do it because they see the potential return on investment. Yep. And they they measure that against the risk of losing the investment as well. Never, ever, ever invest what you can't afford to completely 100% lose. Like that's, yep. Yeah. I thought really, I defrost some overestimate how long I take to cook from frozen to ready. Oh no. Listen, learn, repeat in a few months and this is forgotten. Absolutely. Always, Neke. I do the same. Just half joking. Oh, I know. I know. But like, also like for people who don't know, like this is how it works. It's never like, yeah, sorry. I'm <laughs> um, sure if we had to, there'd be more than two of us to move over. Keep on keeping on. Maybe. Maybe. Lost leaders marketing. Hi, the sun um, well. Ah, oh, Landa. Thank you so much for the resub. I represent the Twitch users from America who don't sleep here to offer you the subscription in return for your services of entertaining us nocturnal beings. Also the badge. Don't forget the badge and the emotes. You get those too. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Sometimes it's also an investment, even if they don't recover the money spent on Ninja, it's a business expense. I suppose you could call it. Yeah, but it's also like, so maybe Ninja himself won't make them back the money. But because of all of the people he's bringing across, and then some of them might start streaming on Mixer as well, and then they'll get subs, and all these people who have been, say it with me, influenced to use the platform because of him will also be technically like making a return on their investment. Oh, I felt great. I worked with two of them at the old job. It was a new to Australia company. Oh, awesome. It's gosh darn it, I'm good enough, and people like me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Speaking of who is Fia wearing today? Fia is wearing her merch. Yes, merchy, merchy, merch. Um, I'm hoping to get some more happening at some point. Um, I want to get it like launched before the six year anniversary stream, which is the end of Feb. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get my samples by then, but we'll see. I'll try. I'll try. Bab shirt. Yes influencer and they come in a lot more colors than just black as well so like take a squiz they might even be your favorite color um i need to be i'll be real quick because i need to take a bathroom break so i'm gonna be right back run away little girl run away Boo! It me, I'm back. Ah, my cheap big merch face, yes. But 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 black is life. It is, but some people prefer to have lighter coloured shirts and stuff to like coordinate with different pieces of clothing and stuff. It's okay. I get it. 
but black is available. <laughs> it's a comfy shirt make as well. Oh yeah, the, the shirts are super comfy. Jazz has got like a forest green men's one or unisex one and I've got obviously the black one. Um, and we've got the masks as well. I've got a black one and he's got a charcoal one. They're like, they're good. They're really good. And the, the face mask looks funny when you fold it up. Give me a second. Like, like this is what it looks like. Where's my, this is like what it looks like. And it kind of, you know, this is like that. Yeah, yeah. But then when you like fold it up like, it looks really silly. <laughs> it just, it makes me so happy. But like, yeah, they're, they're super nice. I really like them. Um, and I'm, look, I mean, I may be biased because it's my merch, but <laughs> I also really like it. Oh, yeah, I was still at it. Yeah, marathon stream, 12 hours. <clears throat> Not too long to go. Almost there. We'll see how we go. Fiathon! Yep. Correct. Lovely sleep, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. This is streams on Monday for whole days. I know, right? What are you playing? World of Warcraft, then? No, not TBC. This is Warlords of Draenor. No. Okay, you there, let me kill you. Uh, isn't there one more longer stream too? Or is it just a special themed one? Uh, a couple special themed ones. Um, in the next kind of like week. So like... Um, tomorrow we're gonna change it, it's not gonna be Transmog Hunt. It's gonna be 50-50s finishing it off and then Transmog Hunt if I've got time afterwards. Which I should do. Uh, we've got Mount Farm Monday. We have the WoW Secret stream on Wednesday. It's not a not a lengthy, like not an over length stream or anything, just um trying to knock out a couple of those collectible secrets. And then Pokemon Legends Arceus on Friday because it's launch day. Um and then Transmog Hunt on Sunday and then Mount Farm Monday on Monday. So yeah, that's uh like the rest of the month. Oh, right. Oh, God. Okay, this is this one. There's something out of the ordinary? Of course. That's okay. It's also all in the uh, schedule. So if you go to twitch.tv forward slash fiamma forward slash schedule, um, it'll convert an audio time zone and it'll tell you, like, what's happening each day, what we're playing, what's ha like what we're doing in the game, all that kind of shit. Um, so it's nice and easy if you ever forget. Enter the cave. Go in there and kill some shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh dear. I am... I'm kind of going through this cycle for the last few hours where it's like, I'm good, and then I hit a wall, and then I'm good, and then I hit a wall. And I'm kind of, I feel myself slipping again. I think I'm about to hit another wall. And I really hope that the wall hits as stream finishes so that I can just like roll over into bed and, and go to sleep. That would be really nice. I think I've accidentally not had enough water today. What was really hitting this spot? Oh, okay, that's good news. At least you've got the water, right? War attacking it. I know, right? So bad. So bad. Giant. Okay, good luck with that. Artifact exposed. The demon residing in fear. Fungal giants aren't demons. They're plant monsters. Creatures. Whatever. It sounds more like a demon than a giant. No, it's supposed to be, you know those kind of things like like the big in in things like in Zangar Marsh and stuff where like they're just made of plants 
and whenever they hit you, it just sounds like they're wobbling. Like it's, yeah, it, it's one of them. No, that's a murloc, that's different. <clears throat> like, the things, like the things we were killing in Zangara before, like in the, the pit down the bottom. It's supposed to be like those things. And a new power for Corrupted Ashbringer. I've got non-corrupted. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. I never did Legion on this one. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Complete versus Legion came out. There you go, Wookie. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ash bring a makeup when I've still got a few mounts to get through before I start doing weapons. <laughs> the current expansion, Shadowlands. Legion was followed by Battle for Azeroth, which was followed by Shadowlands. Cosplay. I'm not gonna do a paladin cosplay. I don't have the skills to like put together fake plate as a cosplay and shit. Only when I'm beta, I've played so many years. It's all the blur, of course, I can imagine. I can imagine. And it's also, keep in mind, it's a lot easier to keep stuff straight when you're actually still in it as well. And I mean, even when I'm in it, I can I always mix up like which way around Cataclysm and Mists of Pandaria were, like always. <laughs> then again, my brain's a colander and I can't retain any kind of information, so fuck me, I guess. Like. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Onward! Best expansion with the first one. Uh, like, as in vanilla, as in the original game, or the first expansion being Burning Crusade? Well, BC. Yes. BC was very awesome. Sunwell is probably one of my favourite raids, even still to this day. Um, it's just, I love the aesthetic of it, and some, like, That's the fights were just so much fun. Sages betrayed him. And, his allies were and BC was the first expansion I played, so like I started playing WoW in general right at the beginning, like when Burning Crusade was launched, um, like right at the beginning of BC. So I've definitely got a very soft spot for it. Uh, maybe it's just because Vanilla was so boring. BC seems super good. Fair, fair. Didn't playing, didn't start playing WoW till Kata. Uh, Jas is a mop baby. Jas started playing in Mists of Pandaria. Baby, Uh, if you, I hope you've had a really good stream. It's productive all the 50s. Yes! Off to bed, looking forward to seeing the final count on socials. Brilliant. Rest well, and we'll see you tomorrow to finish off the pack. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be helping the green ones as well, and I think. There we go. <clears throat> oh, wow, TBC Wrath Catamut. What? We made the shadow. It's brilliant. Uh, BC was cool. I didn't like the fact we left Azeroth behind and went on some other planet. Fair enough.
Lots of reasons to love an expansion and lots of reasons not to like them. This is one of my favourites. Happily playing Guild Wars, my sister annoyed me until I joined her in WoW only to stop playing some months later. Isn't that always the way? That one person who drags you to this new game, kicking and screaming, and then they just like ditch you there. It's like someone being like, please come to this party, like please, I need to, like I don't know anyone there and I would really like for you to come because you're so much fun and I like you and you're awesome. And then you get to the party and you like blink and they've disappeared and they're off in some corner talking to some random. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> we all have, we all know those people, come on. We all know those people. And when the Talon King called, <laughs> they, as heretics driven mad by the curse, thrashed him out in the pools in agony. Uh, I liked BC because I had a druid, loved playing a tank, and druids are the best tanks in BC. They were very awesome. Very, very awesome. My sister is the worst for that. Yeah. Oof. Rough. I'm sorry to hear that. A strange orb. Hi. Beasts. Gazing into it. Terok met the being oh. that saved him. Good lord. The this has been... Anzu, this has been a Terok really productive day. <laughs> like, In good time, lord. I may not have... I think this one, I don't, I'm not sure if this will actually hit 50. But, uh, we'll see. Together they would build 45 50s. When I started today, I had 32 50s. Now I've got 45. 13 new level 50 tunes. What the fuck? A stretch? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Menethank. I've done the fungal giant. Oh, and I have a stretch as well. I missed that one. I don't know how I missed that. It's about as the years passed. The Talon King's health declined. Greed hung in his heart while the curse chewed relentlessly at his life. He began to hate this world. Abandoning Skedis and even sacrificing <laughs> Hoping to rejuvenate their fading king. Um, so you're trying for every combination of characters. Mm, no. Um, so I'm. The cap on characters on an account is 50, like 5 0. Uh, and so, and the. I, the, the level you have to be in order to be able to get the Heartbreak amount to drop, which used to be called the Love Rocket, it's been renamed to the Heartbreaker. Um, so in order to be able to have a chance at the Heartbreaker, you need to be a minimum of level 50. So I decided to set myself a goal, a challenge, if you will, of having a full account of characters that were 50 and up, like 50 plus. And I called it my 50-50s challenge. Uh, and I'm two weeks out from like the deadline of Lovers in the Air starting. Um, and I'm at 45 out of 50 as of today. So it's really exciting. I actually, I like, I did it almost. We're not quite there yet, but I've almost done it. And that's incredible and amazing. And I'm incredible. I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, but almost done. Can't stop now. Can't stop now because then I'll fuck up and then that'll not be good. So we'll keep going. My social legs must be hurting all the sitting. Well, I've been getting up every couple of hours and like going and grabbing water or going to the bathroom or whatever. So, um, they're mostly okay. Plus I've been kind of shifting. Like sometimes I have them down, sometimes I've crossed them and like stuff like that. So they are, they are actually moving. Um, yeah. 50 50s, yes, it's my spreadsheet. I'm the Talon King. I have come from beyond death to stem the iron tide. Well, I'm Kargath Bladefist, and when I kill someone, <coughs> it stays it dead. Possibly. How has I mess other things for the pets. What a waste of time it was. I really enjoy pet collecting so and pet battles and stuff. Personally. But, you know, each their own. Not everyone enjoys every aspect of the game. And that's okay. That's why there are so many different aspects to the game. Something to appeal to everyone. All the different types of gamers. Are you alright? That was a close call. Good, we barely got you out in time. <clears throat> So we're gonna abandon. Start work. 
That's fine. Okay. Even at my full strength, he would prove a challenge. My children. Peace offering delivered. <clears throat> I've never gotten this far, I don't think, you know. Oh maybe I've done this quest once on one of the tunes to get to 50. Oh god, get your ass down here. There we go. I love the pets and pet battles and my characters won't get as much. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Ah. There's there's time for both. It's just gotta be balanced. Just gotta be balanced. Do the pets while your friends aren't available to do mythic class. Or raids or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people hated me for having it. Yeah, I do. I uh, it's the first mount that I like proper farmed, like actually actively tried to go get. Um because it's my favorite man in the game, like, by a fair long shot, honestly. But yeah. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I have nothing well done. Instead, a little bit of everything and hundreds and thousands of HKs. Yeah, look. A little bit. A little bit. But no, it's, yeah, you just gotta have fun, right? It's a video game. That's the best thing about video games is that there's just so many things to do often. And you can pick and choose what you want to do. Shadows gather. And if you do something one day, it doesn't mean you have to do that thing the next day. You can do something entirely different. Especially with WoW, there's so many va like massively different things happening. It's so good. So good. I think this is it. Strength 46 out of 50 50s. 14th today. And are they actually sending me to the grand? No. no. Okay. It's about to say, like, is this the closest? I, I think this is the closest I've gotten to actually being sent to the grand. Uh, 50. 99.43% complete. Excuse me. I burped. My bad. Uh, you hate me because I never farmed a and got it. Why would I hate you? Your luck doesn't affect mine. Why would I hate you? That's silly. That's some fortune level 50s. Thank you, Matt. Jack of all trades, master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Yes, exactly. Thank you, guys. The Grand Marshal grinded vanilla. Wow, well done. Well done. Yeah, my um my logo is like Ashes meets Moltres meets just like the Phoenix in general. Um, because I just, they're great. <laughs> like the whole rising from the ashes and, um, you know, I've had a lot of different different struggles in my life. Not as many as some and, and you know, more than others and all that kind of fun stuff. But like, um, you know, it's, it's always about, you know, life can knock you down and, and shit can get you real low and whatnot. But you always have a chance to like rise from the ashes like a phoenix and just and soar fly to unbelievable heights and all that kind of fun shit but yeah it's um i just i also really like fire <laughs> fire is gorgeous it is you know warm and uh gives us food and i mean some food not all food some food is raw but that's fine um and she's really pretty to look at and play with and all that kind of shit so um like i'm not a pyromaniac i don't like set fire to shit i just I like fire. Um, so, yeah, it's just the whole kind of concept to me is really awesome. So, I went with it. Oh my god, I have 4650s. What the fuck? How did I do that? Oops. Good lord. What, what has happened? What happened here? TK! Thank you for the raid. So just if you do my call to your Android, congrats, Matt. Well done. Well done. Do medieval recreation. My emblem is a phoenix. Was I did prize my lot? Absolutely. It's a gorgeous mount. Absolutely fucking beautiful. It's and it's unique too. 
Wait, there, I mean, there is the, the Dark Phoenix, that guild mount thing, but it's not, I don't think the model is quite exactly the same. There's just something about the, the pink and orange one that's just, it's, oh, yep. What happened is you've been kicking ass? Apparently, apparently. Thank you so much for the raid, Tico. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh, congratulations to Zem, K, Joe, Wanda, Dunno, Spam, Zam, and Thor on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Na, 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 na. We're not doing the battle. That's it, we're done. We're 11 hours and 53 minutes in, we are finished. Complete. Donezo. Donezo. Holy shit. Four tunes to go. A monk, a demon hunter, a mage, and a druid. I know I can come back to play without my computer can't handle it anymore. Totally fair. Totally fair. Holy, holy shit balls, you guys. Holy shit balls. 99.43% complete. Did right today. Lost my last Oh no, big deaths. Lost all my mons. Can I see ice cream gym leader is a big bad C word. Crab apple. Oh, TK, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Are you tempting me? I uh, yes, I am. Correct. I am an influencer. I influence people. It's kind of my job. Literally, brands give me money and product to convince you fuckers to buy their shit. Like, <laughs> apparently that's my job now. Like, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. Absolutely. What? Sure. Okay. Speaking of which, who likes bubble tea? <laughs> Jess and I were just saying the other day we're going to need to place another order soon with them because we're low. We're low on supplies. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness. Fucking gracious. Be a need hoboba, always. It's 50 the max try out. No. That would be 60. That's my main. As you can tell by the fact that she's wearing an actual outfit that is put together, as opposed to everything else, which looks like a murder hobo. <laughs> um, yeah, level 60 is the max. They did a level squish. We hit um, 120 was max in BFA. And instead of going to 130, they squished 120 down to 50. And like everything along the way, like on a scale, sliding scale type deal. Uh, and then in Shadowlands, we leveled from 50 to 60. That looks cool. That's the Venthyr Covenant. There are four covenants, kind of like reputations, but like more involved and you pick one. Um, there's, there's Venthyr, who are vampires. There's Maldraxxus, has the, the Necrolords, who are, like, bones and spikes and... Ah, uh, no, no, well, this, this, like, that axe, that's a, that's a Necrolord axe. Um, you have Night Fae, who are of the forest and Fae and all that kind of shit. Uh, and you have Kyrian, which, she's not wearing anything, Kyrian. That's Necrolord staff as well. The, the, um, like, the bits and bobs, like, the shirt and the pants are Kyrian. Um, but the rest of it's not really. But they're, like, think paladin. <laughs> think, think, uh, like, the paladins. Or, like, the, oh no, you didn't play Legion. You, you left at the start of Legion. But, like, the warrior order hall. Um, but it's all, like, pale blues and shiny golds and whites and, and glistening goodness and shit. But, yeah. Uh, I thought they did level squish. A couple of friends have played non-stop since vanilla. They go. Um, Priests? Sure. Sure. Paladin with wings. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. Let me... I'm refunding you your posture check, Zam, because I don't want to posture my... I don't want to posture my check because I'm, I'm done. I want to go to bed. I want to... My posture needs to be, vo like, horizontal. Over there. <laughs> I'm... Oh, my head's going to explode. I just want to sleep. It's fine. I'm fine. Mm 
A I. Okay, I think we're gonna go here. It's a bit of an unusual one. We're not we're not gonna go to a WoW stream. Um, we're gonna go say hi to a friend of mine. His name is Barry, and he's playing a game called Dead Cells. It looks like it's a platform platformer, but he's got a sword and everything is purple. Oh, he just fell down and he's kind of not feeling too good. It, it looks really kind of funky. It, but it's also kind of a roguelite. Every so often he finds a scroll and he has to pick an upgrade. So, like, it looks like a really interesting combination of genres and I'm kind of like, I want to see more of this. So we're going to go drop a shitload of stuff on his head and he's going to, like, freak out a little bit. But honestly, he's genuinely lo lovely. If you've really liked the vibe here, like the chill, chatty, like, all that kind of shit, then you'll like Barry. He and I have quite similar personalities. Uh, one of the reasons why we get along so well. Uh, and his streams are super chill, um, but also like enthusiastic at times, you know? Like like we kind of uh, like kind of like we are here. Um, I like him a lot. He's wonderful. And he's super supportive and helpful and all that kind of great stuff too. So I'd like to throw some of that support back at him because that's what you do. That's what you do. Uh, so give me a minute. Uh, your posture needs to be in bed. Correct! <laughs> Correct! You don't have to post your check. Thank you, Sam. Uh, you should play tall. Nice when you have 13 duchies in all of your country county limit. Yep. Yep, CK3 life. I could sleep you too, Chaos. I'm not trying to remember my account login. There's like a forgot password button. You'll be fine. Okay. Ooh, throne. Yeah, I need to check that. There's a bunch of suggested gifts on there. Uh, thank you, Iz. I will. I will. You too, yeah? You too. Uh, I haven't had to wait for a boat in ages. Oh, no, okay. Oh, no. Alrighty. Here we go. Raiding Berry. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subbed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, either of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, replace the Fiamma Hype word with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Berry's chat when we get there and say hello and share the love. Tomorrow we are not doing a transmog hunt. We're finishing my fucking 50-50s. Guys, I got four to go. Holy shit. So I'm gonna finish that off and then with whatever stream we have left, we'll do some transmog hunting. Uh, Monday is Mount Fun Monday as per usual. We're gonna hunt down a couple of WoW secrets on Wednesday, followed by a stream on Friday where we're going to play Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's launch day. I'm very excited. Not many people seem to be. So I'm keen to see why everyone's pissed. Uh, and then transmog hunt on Sunday and back to another Mount Fun Monday next Monday. There's not much of January left. And then, and then there's fucked up February, which is a whole thing. That'll be fine. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>